the official host hotel of the River Dragons. Now let's send it to the broadcast booth with the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan. Hello, everyone, and welcome into Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I'm Tom Callahan. Thanks for joining me here as we are getting ready to go for the final game of the regular season against the Blue Ridge Bobcats. And with the entire regular season schedule winding to a close, it's the first time the River Dragons get to take to the ice as not only your Continental Division champions, but also your FPHL regular season champions. That's right, the River Dragons wrapped up both last night Prior to the games coming to a close, we found out not only what the River Dragons would be doing as far as playoff seating, but also we now know the answer to who the first round matchup is and when the games are going to be played. That's something we're going to talk about here in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, and we welcome you in and want to take a look at the matchup here tonight and want to let everybody know if you're coming down, if you haven't made it here yet, uh, I know there is... Quite a bit of traffic out front. There's a lot going on here. There's a softball tournament at the complex. Uh, there is the 24-hour Jerome B-Shark Classic being played next door. There's the carnival. And, of course, we're at home tonight. So if you're coming down, things are delayed just a little bit here. Uh, the two teams will start warm-ups in a couple of minutes. So we have time to stretch our legs out in the pregame show. And uh, at this point... We do not anticipate the game starting at 7.05, probably more like 7.15. So if you're coming down 7.15, maybe even a little later than that, uh, take your time and know that because of that, the River Dragons have pushed the start time back just a little bit tonight, knowing that there's going to be delays getting everybody in the door. And uh, So we're looking forward to having everybody join us. Don't worry, we won't start the game without you unless you come in the middle of the second period, in which case we did start the game without you. But we did have the Legends of Columbus hockey game here today that ended just a little bit ago. And that one was a three-period affair that uh, Team Starry, it, it got crazy at the end. Both benches emptied, and there were two pucks on the ice. Both teams scored once with the extra puck, and Team Starry beat Team Pepsi 6-5. And it was an awful lot of fun. If you happen to not see it, you can always go back and watch it on our YouTube page at Columbus River Dragons. Uh, we do have the game posted there along with uh, me doing some commentary. And I'll be honest with you, struggling just a little bit because of the multiplicity of the same number on both teams on many different occasions. Uh, there were actually six number sevens, three on each team in the game tonight, among others. That was probably the most... Notable offense, uh, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, And you can tell the guys have a good time out there. They enjoy what they're doing. And now the River Dragons got to hurry up, turn it all around here, and get ready to go. And uh, we're going to drop the puck on this one and have some fun here tonight. And uh, really looking forward to it. If you're a hockey fan and you caught any of the Legends game, or perhaps you watched it, maybe you're going to come down for the big game here tonight. It's the first one for the River Dragons uh, without the, I guess, pressure of not having clinched, although I honestly don't think this team was feeling pressure, and I don't know if that's the right word, but that is what I'm going to label it, uh, as they have now closed everything out. And so... Before we take our first break here, I'll tell you what, why don't we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams here tonight. And coming into it this evening, Columbus, 38, 6, 3, 3, and 1, 125 points. And that indeed puts a Z next to their name on the FPHL standings page as having clinched the division and the league title. So congratulations to the River Dragons. They will be the top seed overall heading into this year's Commissioner's Cup playoffs. And so that's a nice feather in the cap and a Columbus team that played so well all season long. Definitely deserves the honor. And they come in with a plus 124 goal differential, by far tops in the league. No one else has a plus 100 goal differential. And it's just incredible the season the River Dragons are having. And now we're going to start warm-ups down here on the ice. But Blue Ridge eliminated from the playoffs about two weeks ago. 44 points on the year. They're 9-32, 7-4, and 1. And 
I'll tell you what, for Blue Ridge, it's been a learning experience, and it's interesting with this Blue Ridge Bombcats team. They have gone through several iterations of themselves just through the course of the year. They don't have anyone on this team that has played the entire season. Instead, what they have is, uh, you know, they've, they've gone through a very early culture change, did not keep a whole lot of players from that. And Coach Zemlichka, who actually played in the Legends game, he was a River Dragons legend and alumni, but is now coaching Blue Ridge. He actually scored in the game, by the way, so congratulations to Zemi on the goal. But uh, he's really building in Blue Ridge. The impetus to win might not have been felt as strongly. Even if it was, he really didn't give it a nod at all. In fact, just kind of kept it going to the point where he was like, you know what, this, uh, this team's going to come along at the pace it comes along at. And we will go ahead and call it good when we get there. And uh, you know what, Blue Ridge has done a, a job of going through its growing pains this year. And that's not an easy thing to do, but they've done it. And now we find Blue Ridge here in a situation uh, where, you know, they're out but building. And I think a lot of the guys that are on this team right now are also building for next year, jobs for next year on the line. And I think that's very important to Blue Ridge as well. So just knowing that that's where they're at and the Bobcats here taking on the River Dragons here tonight. And again, start time is delayed a little bit. If you are a little behind coming down here, don't worry about it. Do not fret. We will be here and uh, we will start the game probably somewhere maybe 10 minutes later. So the Legends game ran a little longer than expected. That one didn't wrap up until almost quarter after six. And so they had to have time to come out, do the ice, uh, run the Zamboni around. So. Take your time, we're uh, just getting warm-ups underway here, so start time pushback just a little bit here this evening. All right, we have plenty to get to in this Air Force Seating and Air pregame show. When we come back, I am going to get into the playoff seating and the playoff picture as we know it in the FPHL. There's still a lot of hockey to be played, and there is only one playoff spot that is uncertain as of yet, and that's in the Empire Division. I will outline that for you. However... In the Continental Division, where the River Dragons reside, not only do we know what the matchups are, but we know who's got home ice, and we also now know the River Dragons' playoff dates, and we're going to tell you about those when we come back here as well. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is the Air Force Seeing and Air pregame show on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories. Unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Back here in the Air Force Seeing and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. Thank you for joining us here as we're getting ready to go at the Columbus Civic Center. And again, a little bit of a delayed start time tonight, so you do have time to get down here if that's what you're aiming for and uh, running into maybe a little traffic getting in the door. Or you're driving down here, maybe listening in the local listening area, Model 69 Rocks. And just let you know, Again, with the uh, delayed start here tonight, no huge hurry for you to get in the door. It's going to be pushed back about 10, 15 minutes, and that's due to various factors, including the fact that the Legends game went a little bit longer than we thought. And so that uh, is definitely helping you out if you're a little behind getting to the game tonight. But also, there's uh, within the complex, there's a softball tournament tonight. There is the Jerome Bichard 24-hour classic going on next door. And in case you missed it, yesterday was Jerome Bichard Day. We're actually going to hear a little bit later on in the pregame show from Boomer, but it'll be yesterday's chat that we had as I didn't really have a chance to catch up with him today, quite frankly. But it's still relevant because, number one, he talks about the legends, talks about the day, talks about his River Dragons hockey team. Just keep in mind, uh, and I'll remind you when we do go into the interview that, once again, it was taped yesterday, uh, but our chat with uh, with Boomer, who, by the way, did get in a scrap in the Legends game. <laughs> Those guys, uh, you know what? They they have a lot of fun out there. They enjoy each other's company, and it's just great to see the, the fellowship that they share. And an uh, awful lot of fun watching those guys play and you know what? I'm not going to lie. Towards the end, it got a little competitive. It really did. It got, well, it got very competitive towards the end of that hockey game. But it was still fun to watch, still very enjoyable. So, okay, let's talk about the playoff uh, positioning here in the standings. Because as I told you in the first segment, Columbus is sewn up. Their postseason berth, they know their first overall heading in. So that means of the possible three rounds this thing could go, Columbus would, if they advance every round, have home ice for the entirety. So that's fantastic for the River Dragons and very exciting for them. And heading into last night's games, well, the River Dragons hadn't quite sewn it up yet, and we did 100% know the seating, but we now know the seating and the dates of the games. So here's what it's going to be. In the Continental Division for the River Dragons, their first round opponent will be the Mississippi Sea Wolves. Game one will be Wednesday, April 17th at 7.05 Central Time. So again, that's Wednesday, April 17th, 7.05 Central Time. That game is on the road, obviously, game one. Game two, back here Friday night, April 19th at 7.35 p.m. Game three, if necessary, Saturday night, 7.05 p.m. That would be April 20th. And so the two teams will go head-to-head -head in the opening round, looking forward to it, and hopefully for the River Dragons, uh, you don't need that third game. You'd like to be able to move on. And Mississippi coming down the stretch here has been struggling a little bit, three and seven in their last 10, and they've lost four in a row. But no one's an easy out. And especially a team like Mississippi that can put the puck in the net, they give up a lot. But they can score a lot, too. And uh, I'm not willing to look past anyone in that position. The other matchup will be Carolina at Port Huron. That is also set in stone. Carolina will have home ice advantage for that matchup. We know that for sure. So those are dialed in. Okay, looking a little bit further down the road here, the Empire Division, what do we know? Well, we know that Binghamton has clinched the division and will face either Elmira or Watertown. Right now, it looks like, or at least you would think, it could be Elmira. However, there's been, as they say, a development. And my intrepid producer, Drew Pierce, comes up to me and says, hey, did you happen to see that pretty much the entire Elmira franchise happened to be suspended? <laughs> and I'm only being partially facetious. But what happened was that uh, several River Sharks, including Tyler Jurich, Frankie McClendon, Stavros Soelis, and Matt Lunger, so even the equipment guy for Elmira has been suspended in definitely by the league pending a review for inciting. Now, 
for the Wolves. Tate Leeson, Joshua Tomasi, Dakota Seaman, and Brian Verbeek suspended by the league indefinitely pending a review. So all of those names, all, everybody I just told you, four on both sides, received uh, inciting opponent penalties in the game last night. And if you have not seen the just, I, I don't even know what to call it. I'll just call it, um, it really was a Donnybrook. I'm going to go with Donnybrook. Yeah. If you have not seen the Donnybrook that happened there in the third period of that game, go ahead and take a look on uh, on YouTube if you get a moment, or maybe you want to do a little uh, little internet search. I'm sure it's floating around on various places. It got ridiculously out of hand. And so now the question goes begging. Those two teams, the, number one, they're playing again tonight. But down the stretch, what happens? Because that could kneecap the Wolves' chances. It could kneecap the River Sharks' chances. There's a lot of ways it could play out. And especially with an indefinite suspension pending a review because those teams have so few games left. Remember, we're at the end of the regular season here. Elmira's only got three left. Watertown has four left. If those suspensions happen to be longer than three or four games, it could affect Elmira or Watertown in their potential first-round matchup against Binghamton. So until last night happened, and even with Elmira winning last night, which they did, it was a real big win for Elmira in that one. They beat Watertown 7-3. Well, Watertown kind of carried things a little too far yesterday, looking for some uh, retribution or maybe some tone setting for tonight. And that's what you come out with. So now questions abound. And if I was going to second screen a game tonight, I'll tell you what, that's the one I'm watching out of the corner of my eye is Elmira Watertown. Because it really could go in any direction at this point. So it's Binghamton against Elmira or Watertown. And then it's Motor City against Danbury. Now, Motor City does not play this weekend. They are off. They play twice next weekend to wrap up their regular season. They only have two games left. They play Port Huron. And Port Huron is on a three-game win streak right now. They beat Baton Rouge. And, yeah, they've got some travel to come back home. And Motor City is going to be rested. Also, it's going to be interesting to see... Motor City once again had Trevor Babin uh, called up to the ECHL's Kalamazoo Wings. So will they get Babin back in time for those games? That's another question that has yet to be answered. Of course, they've got a week to get him back, so perhaps he's there. Uh, I, I, and I don't know the circumstances, but if he's not there, it's a different team. So if Port Huron ends up winning those games, and Danbury, which has its work cut out for it because they have to face Binghamton a bunch of times down the stretch, but Danbury, there's a five-game gap, and the Hat Tricks have a game in hand. So they could get three points back, but tonight they're playing Binghamton. And, of course, there's question marks around Binghamton. They've won their last two, but they're 6-4-10. Six, 6-4 in, six in the last 10, I should say. Where is Binghamton as a team right now? There are just so many different questions surrounding what's going on in the FPHL, but Danbury and Binghamton going head to head quite a bit down the stretch. So there's, there's a lot of questions. Nothing is set in stone in this playoff picture. As far as matchups, is it going to be Motor City with home ice? Is it gonna be Danbury? Which team, Elmira or Watertown is Going to be playing golf, and which team's moving on to a first-round date with Binghamton in the Empire Division? That's where your questions are. The Continental Division is settled. And to that end, the River Dragons are going to make a few lineup changes. We'll talk about those as well, because tonight for the River Dragons, they are going to start rotating guys through and resting guys. I was talking to the captain, Josh Petrantonio, earlier today, and Petro said that He's going to have a veteran rest day today. Justin McDonald is going to have a veteran rest day. 
and uh, Nolan Slahetka is also going to have a rest day today as well. And that means Jordan Popoff is back in the lineup, along with both rookie defensemen who have come up and done a nice job, and Hugh Anderson and Parker Layton. They are both in the lineup. And Carter Shinkarik is going to move up with Petrantonio's absence and play forward. Ostensibly on the line with Jamea Fendo. We will see if that changes at all as the game goes along. But uh, he might actually end up also in the McDonald spot and end up centering then the uh, unit with Moore and Hunter. So we'll try to keep an eye on that for you. But Shinkarik, who has played forward before, and in fact, uh, the COVID year in the FPHL, he was actually leading the league in scoring, so about three, four years ago now. So he'll be playing up front, and the River Dragons resting some guys, and I'm sure you'll see the River Dragons resting more guys down the stretch here. I'm sure this is not the last of it, because now that everything they could possibly sew up is sewn up, uh, I don't want to say that you want to play to not get hurt because I will tell you what, in my experience, the minute you say, I'm going to go out here and play to not get hurt, guess what? That is exactly when you get hurt. So you don't want to do that. You want to go out. You want to play hard. But if you feel like if you're Coach Bichard and a guy needs some rest, you're going to rest that guy. And so I think for Columbus tonight is part of that. They're going to rest Justin McDonald. They're going to rest Josh Petrantonio. And they're going to rest Nolan Slahetka. And so pop off into the lineup. And both Parker Layton and Hugh Anderson into the lineup. And it's actually going to be a really good test. Number one, it's good to keep Popoff sharp. Uh, but it's also going to be good to make sure that, uh, you know, Layton and Anderson are getting more minutes, feeling more comfortable, and are adapting to their spots in the lineup. So I think tonight's going to be a good test against Blue Ridge for those players to make sure that they uh, feel like they are where they want to be. So, all right, well, we have concluded warm-ups. And we do still have more to get to. Again, we are going to hear from Jerome Bichard. It's going to be the, the chat I had with him yesterday, but he does have plenty to say in that, so we will go ahead and listen back to that. And plus, we also uh, have an out-of-town scoreboard, which is busy because not only do we have NHL playoff implications today, but also FPHL. And on top of that, we've got Major League Baseball and Men's College Hoops, the Final Four is back in progress. So we'll update you on that as well. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show in just a moment. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer.
And we're back at the Air Force Seeing and Air pregame show. Zamboni's out there swirling around the ice right now and trying to lay down a nice thick carpet of hot water. Let that freeze in place, seal up all the cracks, pick up all the snow, and then we'll get ready. Fresh sheet of ice. Must be almost game time. And again, reminding those of you driving in, maybe listening to the pregame show on the radio side, we are delayed tonight. And uh, the Legends game finishing a little bit later than perhaps uh, we expected, but that's okay. Uh, they were out there having a great time and entertaining. So normally we'd be dropping the puck in about 10 minutes. Instead, we're dropping the puck in about 20 minutes. So not a huge pushback, about 10 minutes or so, but a bit of a delay. It's enough to get folks in, especially with the traffic I know outside with the softball tournament, the carnival, everything that's going on. Of course, the Jerome Bichard 24-hour uh, hockey classic, which has got to be winding its way towards a conclusion here. I know that uh, that is all part of why we're just a little bit behind here tonight. Okay, let's take a look at this out of town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo Zippin. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. Well, in Binghamton tonight, a seven o'clock puck drop coming up. Danbury hat tricks at the Binghamton Black Bears. That's one of those important games I told you, Danbury. Honestly, I think that it could be a very strong chance of Danbury and Binghamton trying to play their way out of the division. Not that I'm discounting Motor City. Remember, Motor City is in the Empire now. But I just still feel like these are two very good hockey teams, and Danbury is a very different team at home as well. That's why home ice advantage is so important to them if they can get it, and uh, they need to beat Binghamton to do it. 7.05 start coming up here for the Carolina Thunderbirds at the Mississippi Seawolves. And at 7.30 tonight, Elmira is at Watertown. And then we also have Port Huron, 8 o'clock Eastern time there at the Baton Rouge Zydeco tonight. In the NHL, some finals from earlier today. How about the Pittsburgh Penguins? Making a playoff push, 5-4, Penguins beat the Tampa Bay Lightning today. Sidney Crosby, his 40th, Steve Stamkos, his 35th, and Getty Malkin had a pair. Stamkos actually ended up with a pair, Michael Bunting, the game winner. In overtime, the Boston Bruins down the Florida Panthers 3-2. Chicago Blackhawks 3-2 winners over the Dallas Stars today. Jets 4-2 over the Minnesota Wild. Game's going on right now. Actually, only one game going on right now, and it's scoreless between the Blues and the Sharks. 20 minutes into that one. 7 o'clock tonight, you've got Flyers at Blue Jackets, Maple Leafs at Canadians, Devils at Senators. 7.30, Preds are at the Islanders. Oilers at Flames at 10 o'clock tonight, and Canucks at Kings also a 10 o'clock puck drop. Major League Baseball scores. And in the top of the 10th inning right now, the Orioles and the Pirates are tied up at three. So they have gone to extras. We did have some matinee baseball games today, including the Athletics shutting out the Tigers 4-0. Guardians 3-1 over the Twins. Cardinals 3-1 over the Marlins. 4-1 Dodgers beat the Cubs. 5-2 Phillies over the Nationals. Reds 9-6 over the Mets. Coming up here at the top of the hour, you got Blue Jays at Yankees, Astros at Rangers, White Sox are at the Royals, Mariners at Brewers. 7-20 first pitch for the Diamondbacks at the Braves. 8-10 tonight, Rays are at the Rockies. 9-05, Padres at the Giants. 9-38, Red Sox at the Angels to round out your schedule there. Animates College Hoops, it's Final Four time. And right now at the half, number one Purdue leading number 11 NC State 35-29, trying to get to a spot in the national championship game. Later on tonight, number four Alabama, number one UConn. I'll tell you what, Alabama's having a heck of a run right now. You never know how that's going to pan out for the Crimson Tide, but boy, oh boy. And I know there's a lot of jokes flying around about how Nick Saban leaves Alabama and all of a sudden they're a basketball school, but uh, they've done pretty well for themselves. So... Now I get to bring you this fun news. So we said we were already going to be delayed like 10 minutes, right? Well, <laughs> hold on to your helmets, buckle your chin strap. Uh, we just had a Zamboni issue. The Zamboni uh, came to a halt. 
in the middle of the ice and then eventually did get off under its own power, dropped some snow, uh, and did make it off. However, has not come back out. And, uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see how this one's going to go. But right now they're uh, just out trying to make sure they scoop up the snow piles that were left by the Zamboni. And we may be further delayed starting tonight's hockey game. So, uh, well, I tell you what, if, if you were late, if you had a flat tire on the way to the game tonight, this is your lucky day. The stars are aligning for you. And you will have plenty of time to get down here. So we have about half of a sheet of ice to uh, to finish running the Zamboni out on. And then we'll see if we can uh, get things moving along as normal. But for the time being, we have no Zamboni on the ice. So uh, we'll see if we can get that back out there and uh, we'll keep you appraised. As of right now, the game is going to be bumped back about 10 minutes. But we shall see how fast this Zamboni snafu uh, gets ironed out. So a couple other things that I wanted to touch on. Right now, if you are a River Dragons fan and you wanted to pick up playoff tickets, there are seven game packages available. And actually, you know, before we get into that, let's go ahead and keep it legal here. Uh, Ten second break along the radio network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Okay, so right now if you're a River Dragons fan and you're looking to buy some playoff tickets, your option is to pick up the seven-game playoff pack. Seven games as the Zamboni does return to the ice. And let's, uh, fingers crossed, hope she keeps on trucking. But your seven-game packs are available right now with and without what's called a credit rider. And uh, season ticket holders especially may be interested in the credit rider because any unplayed games that you receive a credit for carry over to the balance of next year's season ticket. So it's kind of like having money in the bank uh, and giving yourself maybe even a little break on the price when you come back and you think to yourself, oh, I've already got some money in there. How nice. It's like finding a 20 in your winter coat. It's still your money. You put it there six months ago, but, hey, it's it's there when you put the winter coat back on. So that is one of the options. So of course, there is another option without a credit rider that does include a refund for playoff games that are unplayed. You can pick up either one of those packages uh, through the River Dragons office right now, and that guarantees you the same seat for all seven playoff games, potential playoff games to be played. And, of course, the question is, why seven? In a best-of-three, best-of-three, potentially best-of-five setup, seven home games is the maximum number of home games you can play under that guise. So if every series goes the max number of games, and, of course, the River Dragons with home ice throughout could be eligible for up to seven home games in the Commissioner's Cup playoffs. So those packages are on sale right now. And, again, River Dragons starting on the road, game one at Mississippi, Wednesday the 17th of April, 7.05 Central Time. Game two back here Friday night, April 19th at 7.35 p.m. Now, if you're saying, Tom, I don't really know my schedule, can't really commit to that, when do single games go on sale? That will be this upcoming Tuesday, April 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you want single games, if you want to buy, say, that Friday night game and then just see how it goes, that's Tuesday, April 9th, which is next week, Tuesday, at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So just want to make sure that everybody's clear on that. We all know where we're at, and uh, that's our, our destination as far as playoff tickets go. So, all right, wanted to clear that up before we get to this break. So keep in mind, this chat you're going to hear coming up with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard is from yesterday's game, but it's still relevant. I didn't get a chance to talk to Boomer today, but uh, still some good stuff about Legends Weekend in there, and talking about where this team is right now uh, heading into the weekend. So you will hear him talking about Friday night's matchup, etc. cetera, but uh, certainly talking about Legends Weekend, about having his own day here in Columbus, uh, certainly still relevant stuff. So we're going to hear that on the other side of the break. And then we're getting a little closer to dropping the puck. Bobcats and the River Dragons coming up in just a little bit. This is the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show on River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. 
But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi, welcome back here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, thanks for joining us here. Big all right, welcome back here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, thanks for joining us here. Big weekend. It's Legends weekend. Uh, I know this being Friday, the game is tomorrow at 4.30, but I do want to promote it a little bit. But you had a chance to skate with some of the Legends. How are they looking out there? Yeah, the boys, uh, so half the guys are here and the other half are, uh, are kind of getting into town today. So um, a lot of oxygen out there, I think. Uh, they're, they're glad they saw a lot of guys on the, on the roster, so there's lots of ice time for everybody. So um, it's just fun to, to um, I guess, reminisce, hear the old same stories that, <laughs> that we all went through kind of thing. So it's good. All right. Well, that game will be tomorrow, 4.30, and your ticket for tomorrow's game gets you into the Legends game doors at 3.30. Just wanted to put that out there today. Let's talk about tonight's game against Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge is a team that's been eliminated from the playoffs already, and I wanted to get your thoughts on that. I mean, sometimes when a team is out of the playoffs, they might pack it in. But then there's the other case where it swings the other way and they have nothing to lose, and all of a sudden they're just playing without a care. Yeah, I know. Uh, this team is going to be like the latter. Um, uh, Zemi, the coach, I mean, um, you know, he's only he only knows one way, and uh, that's the work hard. Uh, play right and uh, he's looking for guys that uh, uh, can do that for next year type thing so um, they're dangerous they're going to be a dangerous team we got to um, you know take care of business and you know uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we get back to playing the way we need to play get our uh, get what we need to be uh, uh, to get first place overall um, and then uh, go from there. I know last week was disappointing a couple of losses on the weekend what's been the focus this week? Uh, focus, just little things. I mean, uh, you can't just expect to win. Well, actually, you need to expect to win, but you can't just throw your sticks out there and, and think you're going to win without uh, doing all the little things. So uh, work hard, you know, finish our checks, stops and starts, uh, be defensively sound, um, which last weekend we weren't. And, uh, you know, we're going to score our goals. We just got to uh, make sure that uh, we eliminate uh, opportunities. I know that uh, Brody Duncan, the guy who was a little banged up last weekend, what's his prognosis for this weekend? Uh, Dunks is good enough to play, so he'll play. Um, we're going to uh, uh, rest uh, Hugh Anderson for no reason other than, uh, uh, you know, Dunks is back. And then uh, um, Parker Layton needs to get uh, a couple more games in to be uh, uh, qualified for the playoffs. So I think that's important uh, to do that. And then, um, you know, coming down the stretch, we'll just kind of see um, Parker or uh, uh, Swanner will be in, uh, Jay will be out, 
and uh, Willie uh, Willie will get to start tonight. I want to talk to you a little bit about the defensive pairings because I know that forward lines can find chemistry and sometimes it comes and it goes, but with D-men, I think that's very important to try to find those matches. When you're adding guys like this, how do you do that? Yeah, no, it's the same thing. You know, obviously I kind of try to go a, you know, a puck movement guy um, with a kind of stay-at-home guy. Um, and, you know, if it's uh, Carter Shinkarik and Parker Layton tonight, um, you know, Shinks likes to go. Uh, Parker actually likes to go a little bit too, um, but uh, I'll try to you know put an anchor on him a little bit and 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 make him be the stay-at-home guy. And uh, he's pretty physical. He likes to move the puck well. Um, and then uh, the other two, you got uh, Balks and Undy and and uh, um, Slats and uh, and Duncan. You know, so all around, uh, you know, I think. Uh, as far as that goes, I think they do mesh well together, and uh, you know I need uh, I need everybody to step up on the back line and and do their jobs, move the puck well, and and take care of business. Bockel and Underwood have kind of become the guys. It seems like you lean on as that first deep pair. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they're pretty uh, they're pretty aware of their surroundings. They're uh, defensively kind of sound. Are they perfect? No, but uh, um, they're usually hit first. Um, ask questions later and they usually get the puck out uh, fairly quickly um, you know everybody else kind of tends to you know maybe 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 do a little bit more than they they need to and just get that puck up to the forwards all right well let's wrap it all up with keys to the game tonight um, you know what they came in overnight we need to jump on them um, make sure they don't get off the bus uh, the first five ten minutes uh, um, and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have the same uh, same game plan making sure the over the red line dumping in put pressure on us so um, we, that's what we really need to do we need to el el eliminate turnovers we're we're good in the offensive zone and and when we can uh, sustain some pressure down there um, when we get into a, a run and gun kind of uh, run and gun and back and forth game that's uh, it's more conducive to the other teams more times than not. So uh, eliminate turnovers, uh, stop, starts, hit, all the stuff that uh, makes you go, makes you win games. Sounds good. All right, Boom, thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do.
gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Switcheroo for the River Dragons here, from what I was telling you earlier on. And uh, I know if you're just tuning in, but you did hear our interview with uh, Jerome Bichard, that was yesterday's interview. And so for the River Dragons on the bench here tonight, uh, not dressed in, getting a little bit of a veteran rest. You got Justin McDonald, Josh Petrantonio behind the bench here this evening. Also, Nolan Slahetka has the night off. So for the River Dragons, that means they're gonna dress both rookie defensemen here tonight in Parker Layton and Hugh Anderson. And on top of that, then the River Dragons uh, also will have Carter Shankarik playing up front and he will be in a centering role. So here tonight, it looks like what's going to happen is Hunter Bersani is going to be between Jemayev and Doe. So now we're going to have a special face-off down on the ice on Legends Weekend here. Let's turn it back over to PA announcer Dana Barker. there as well of course Charlie a big reason why hockey ended up in Columbus in the first place and then Shelby and Wanda Amos owners of the Cotton Mouths after uh, the Moros decided to move on from the franchise there and you know what uh, they their stewardship was fantastic and they oversaw some championships as well and now it's in the hands of Jeff Krupp who brought Hockey back here to the Fountain City. It's been five years now. You see the fifth anniversary logo down there on the ice if you're watching on the YouTube side. But boy, if you go to rdragons.com or if you just see the photos of the team, fifth anniversary jerseys, the logo's been all over the place and honoring five years here with this River Dragons hockey team in the FPHL. And so we're going to get it underway here in just a little bit. I don't know. They still have the Zamboni doors down, open down to our left in. There was a spot where the Zamboni, uh, as I mentioned, and maybe if you're just tuning us in, you might have missed this, but in the pregame show, as the Zamboni was circling the ice, there was a spot where it stopped, uh, dropped some water on the ice, and then continued on its way. But now it looks like what they're going to do is bring it back out here to try to maybe shave that spot down a little bit. 
and see if they can't perhaps get that even back out. So both players off the benches just trying to keep loose a little bit over there. Well, we've got plenty of time, so let's get to tonight's starting goaltenders. For the Columbus River Dragons, Brendan Colgan, 21-4-0-1 with a 2.92 goals against average and 894 save percentage, two shutouts on the year. He's opposed by Connor Green, and Green, 6-19-0-4. A 3.91 goals against 898 save percentage. He does have the lone shutout for the Bobcats this year. And those two will be going head-to-head -head here this evening. And right now, I'm not sure. Well, no. Okay. Looks like they're bringing the Zamboni out. And we're going to have a look and see if they can maybe scrape that uh, area of the ice back down the way they want to. Kind of a little delicate here to get some of the lumps off the ice. So that's going to be a process that's going to take a minute here. So you try to iron this out before the start of the game. Oh, my goodness. The Zamboni has two boomer cutout heads on the front of it. Jerome Bichard is right on the front of that Zamboni. Yeah, Jerome Bichard day yesterday here. And the 24-hour uh, Jerome Bichard hockey tournament is going on next door, the uh, hockey classic. Plus, we're playing here for the River Dragons. And they're scraping everything down right now in the Zamponi, but those two cutout heads. There's one of those in the office. I walked in yesterday at the end of the game, and it was staring right at me, and it made me darn near jump out of my suit. Well, that was fun. Let's see if they have uh, gotten this to a point where they feel good about it. Nope, not yet. Referee still wants them to do another pass. So we're not quite there yet. So we're still under a bit of a delay here. And certainly if it's a big bump in the ice, which it's very hard to tell from up here in the broadcast booth, but if it's a big bump in the ice, I mean, it might be akin to a ski ramp for the puck. Teams could take advantage of that. Dump in from that spot right there just over that blue line. And rifle it on in. They're still working on that out there. Does give me a chance to remind everybody to say big at River City Swing Sets, your local gorilla place that's to authorized showroom. Offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons! Look back over at our out-of-town scoreboard. Game's going on right now. And in the FPHL. Just underway, no score. Binghamton and Danbury. Nothing reporting in there just yet. Also, no score about halfway through the first period. Carolina and Mississippi. Elmira and Watertown are just about to drop the puck here at the bottom of the hour. And at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock Eastern, Port Huron is at the Baton Rouge Sinico. NHL, finals from earlier, Penguins 5-4 over the Lightning. Bruins 3-2 in overtime over the Panthers. Blackhawks 3-2 over the Stars. Jets 4, Wild 2. Game's going on right now. Blues and Sharks still scoreless in the second. Flyers, Blue Jackets scoreless in the first. Maple Leafs, Canadians also scoreless in the first. Devils out to a 1-0 lead over the Senators on an Eric Hall a goal. 7.30 start for the Preds at the Islanders. 10 o'clock tonight, Oilers are at the Flames. Canucks are at the Kings. Major League Baseball. Bunch of games just getting underway, but the Orioles and Pirates are now tied at 4 in the top of the 11th. They went to extras tied at 3. Bottom of the first, Blue Jays-Yankees are scoreless. 
middle of the second, White Sox Royals scoreless. No score, Mariners Brewers, that's top two. End of the first, no score, Astros Rangers. Top one, Diamondbacks out to a one nothing lead over the Braves. 8-10 start, Rays at Rockies, 9-05, Padres at Giants. 9-38, Red Sox are at the Angels. And men's college hoops. Final four action today. Number one, Purdue right now out in front of number 11, NC State, 39-33. And that game just into the second half. And then a later tip almost towards 9 o'clock, number four, Alabama, and number one, UConn. All right, we're still trying to figure this out. Kyle Moore is over talking to the Zamboni driver, and they're still trying to... Now they're sending him off the ice. Well, you certainly don't want him to make it worse. So hard to say what exactly happened when the Zamboni did stall. Now, I don't know if the auger blade continued spinning and dug a trench in the ice or if all the water spilled out and it kind of built up an area there. They did go over and scrape it, and now they're trying to flatten it out. They've got a bucket out there with shovels and some snow, a couple squeegees, some water, and they're just trying to do some ice repair as best as they can from where that Zamboni just kind of quit earlier. So the crowd's been pretty patient here. I gotta give them that, although uh, a lot of them were here earlier to see the Legends hockey game between Team Pepsi and Team Starry. That one came down to the wire between the legends of River Dragons and Cotton Mouths Hockey, and of course, mixed teams and guys on both teams. You had Oren Hergott with a pair of goals, and uh, also Adam Vanelli, who played for the River Dragons last year. He had a pair of goals in that game. And at the end of the game, we went to the extra puck. Two pucks on the ice, benches empty, emptied. Both teams scored a goal. So the final score was Team Starry 6, Team Pepsi 5. <laughs> it got wild out there. It was kind of crazy. As they still work on the ice down there, and now they'll try to freeze everything in place. The old fire extinguisher. Let's see if they can make that work. And right now they just have the players out there circling a little bit as they try to continue the ice repair, see if they can get things working here. And get this game underway at some point. We still have not started if you're just joining us. River Dragons and the Blue Ridge Bobcats under a delay here. We had a bit of a Zamboni issue. As the uh, Zamboni in the pregame cut of the ice kind of stalled in place, and it looks like it caused some sort of damage just outside the River Dragons blue line, which they're trying to fix. Let's see if it's satisfactory to everybody to play some hockey here. Looks like they may be done repairing for now. I think they're trying to get everybody to let it go here tonight. River Dragons in the, well here, let's hear the sing-along part of this. Ah, uh, the fans love their sing-alongs here. This year's favorite has become strawberry wine. So, you never know what's gonna cater to the crowd. All right, looks like we're gonna get going here. River Dragons in the black jerseys going left to right in front of our broadcast location. Blue Ridge in the whites. So it is Bersani centering Doe and Jamaeth. And puck drop, here we go. Blue Ridge will control and they will start off up the right side, trying to push that one ahead, chipped in past Bockwell. 
On the right side, here's the centering attempt, and that one is cut off in the far side corner by Underwood. Bach will into the corner there as well. Ends up with the right point, not out shot coming in. Colgan the save, rebound in the slot still there. There's another chance, Colgan another save. Played up the near wall. Jemayev knocks it away from Vlasov. Puck at the left point, not out. Sent into the slot, Vlasov is cleaned out, couldn't shoot. Rusani after it, he's gonna pull it back. Pressured, has to feed it to the far side, but ahead is Underwood, chopped off his stick. And he will send it down. Both teams changing it up here. Not quite a minute into this opening frame. Blue Ridge and Columbus yesterday. Columbus scored 102 into the hockey game. And so, as I mentioned, no Petrantonio, no McDonald, no Slahetka here for the River Dragons today. Some guys getting some rest. Now the Columbus has wrapped up the league title, division crown, and the home ice that goes along with it. We'll try the left side here's Hunter. Yes, he's out on the change. And it looks like Shinkarik will center with Moore and Hunter. Columbus to bring it ahead. Here's Moore. In over the line with Shinkarik. Feeds it to him. Leaves it back to Moore. Moore cutting to his left. Doesn't shoot. Curls up top looking for help in the far circle. Knocked down and lost the puck. Martin will turn it the other way to center. Daly will dump it in from there. Colgan out to play it. Backhands it around to the near side. Duncan. We'll flip that one out over the line. A roller that's recovered by Blue Ridge. Buck turned over at center by the Bobcats. Back of the right wing is Ryan Hunter. Trying to drive in wide. Pushed it into the corner. Shinkarik up after it. Tied up in that right side corner. Up the half wall it goes. Bobcats able to clear the zone finally. Pop off with it at center. Pop off also drawing back into the lineup tonight along with Anderson and Layton. River Dragons pressing. They'll send it around the right wing behind the net. It goes Wickline trying to pick it up. Jay Krupp over there. Wickline wraps it in front, but that one is taken away. Sazanovitz moving it out of danger. And now curling back in his own end with it is Ivashkin. Sazanovitz feeding it over. And Blue Ridge actually going to regroup all the way behind the net. Reset the breakout entirely. Sazanovitz heads off the ice. Blue Ridge will start a change here. As they try to patiently move it up through center. Ivanov leading the charge. Dumps it in. Colgan will paddle it aside. Puck to the far side. Anderson takes a pass. Feeds it around to the right wing. Duncan feeds it up to Krupp. Krupp through center. Dumped in a bouncer, but Wickline couldn't get to it. Krupp on it. Feeds it back to the D. Columbus will dump it in now right side. Storjahan up on the four check here. Puts his man into the glass. Crowd loves it as he put Norwinski in. Wolf the other way for Blue Ridge. Feeds on to the right side. Shot coming in. Pad save. Colgan rebound. And that one off a of body. And the net goes flying off behind Colgan. So we get a whistle here. 331 into the first period. Scoreless. Between the Bobcats and the River Dragons, Tom Callahan here with you. Don't forget, tomorrow we come to you from Mississippi, 4.05 Central, 5.05 Eastern time. Face-off will be to the right of the River Dragons net. Up to the left point, kept in there by Ford. Dumped in behind the net. Underwood feeding it around here's Bockwell. Banks it ahead towards Jemayev. And now it's pushed back in, right side. Here's a shot, but that one is blocked as Vlasov tried to get it through. Now another one in on goal, and that's flagged down by the mid of Colgan. He'll hang on. Face off will come to his left. Not quite four minutes into this first period. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Face off one by the River Dragons. They try to clear it around the glass, and now it'll be pushed away to center. Columbus moving up Shinkarik, but he was knocked away at the line, and now 
Lassaw back, but he just had it roll off his stick. Ends up with Duncan. Duncan to the far side, fired in by Shinkarik around the rim. Green cannot slow it down. Moore puts it towards the net. Off the outside of the net, boy, Green barely got back in time. It did not go in. Boy, if Moore would have been able to get more on that, perhaps it ends up in the net. Face off will be to the left of the Bobcats goal. Shinkarik, Moore, and Hunter the line tonight. McDonald has the night off, as does Petrantonio and Slahetka. Shinkarik on the right side. Slides across to the left point. Shot coming in, tipped way out of play. Into the netting, 424 gone here in the first. Believe it or not, the River Dragons don't have a shot on goal yet. The first three shots of the game belong to the Bobcats. Face off to the right of Connor Green. River Dragons win that drawback. Duncan will leave it off up top. They'll get flattened. And now it's turned over at the line. Here's Carson Andrioli stepping up. He'll flip it into the right wing corner. Colgan out to play it, paddles it back around the far side glass. And Columbus will break the zone quickly. Here's Shinkarik in over the line. Had a flip back out to center by the Bobcats, though, as he lost it in traffic. Turned right back to Shinkarik. Shinkarik feeds Moore, cutting in. Kyle Moore, he's knocked down with a hit there. And, boy, the crowd doesn't like that, but I'll tell you what. The River Dragons don't have it going yet. Hey, the fans don't like that, but that is not a penalty. That's a good hit. Ivan Ob will carry it ahead. He'll flip it onto the right side. Sazanovic's in. His shot is blocked. Nice job by Anderson to get in front of that one as it's cleared back out to center. Five and a half coming up gone here as Colgan casually blockers one away into the corner as it was dumped in from center. And Columbus will reset the breakout here. There's a bank pass left side. There was nobody there for that. That's icing. And that'll get us to our first break of the period. 546 gone here in the first. No score between the River Dragons and the Bobcats. Back with more of this Chick-fil-A first period in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. All right, face off is coming up at center ice here. No score in this one so far. 544, 546, gone in the first. First three shots of the game belong to Blue Ridge. We have had the uh, the delay of delays tonight. Everything has been delayed for a reason. We had a Zamboni issue. We had the Legends of Columbus hockey game run a little late. We had all kinds of fun things happening. We finally are underway, and it's Blue Ridge that has uh, kind of carried the play here to start things off. Columbus will move the puck back the other way up the left side. They will bring it in. Here's a chance, and that shot blocked before it ever got to green. Nice job by Ford to get in the way. Bob Castle toss it back in from center. Around it wraps near side. Sassanov, it's put into the glass by Popoff, but he kept the puck deep. And now there's a hit side of the net by Anderson. Boshkin a little slow to get up. 
Sazanovitz finishes his check. Puck away to center, though. Columbus at the line, Wick line. He's pestered from behind by Avoshkin, trying to keep it in, but now it's turned over to the Bobcats. That one will be fired into the far corner by Norwinski. Sazanovitz right side, feeding it to the right point. Shot coming in, blocked, and another chance perhaps on the doorstep, and they score. Cutting down the slot. And the Bobcats get on the board first, I believe. That is Joel Frazee, indeed it is. 6.47 into the first period, the Bobcats grab the lead. Nice work by the Bobcats in the offensive zone as they really did a nice job kind of setting things up, making sure that they were able to work the puck around. It's the ninth goal of the season for Frazee. And uh, as I was saying just a minute ago, I mean, Columbus, every, with all these delays, really just hasn't quite put it in gear just yet. They still don't have a shot on goal in this game. Now off the faceoff, Vlasov was slashed, dropped his stick, and went to the bench. And the play continues. Puck in the Bobcat zone. Now it's fired out of play. Look out, puck on edge. <laughs> yeah, the guy who got hit by the puck said, I'm all right. Everybody's good. We're cool. All right. Face off. Hey, the little guy got the puck. Okay. Yeah, way to go, big guy. He's all right. I don't, I don't know if it hit him. It glanced off him, but either way, he's he's good to go. His dad's good to go. <laughs> We're good. Nice job, kid. All right, 7-11 into the first. One, I think, Bobcats. Draw to the left of that Blue Ridge goal. One back, Ford on it there. He'll swing it around to the far side. Ivanov up the right wing. Blue Ridge trying to break the zone. And they move it ahead to center where it's turned right back in by Underwood. That could be icing. And it is. I think Underwood thought he might have had somebody going up that left side there to go chase that. Instead, the faceoff comes back into the Columbus end of things. It's going to be Bersani out there with Sequoia Swan and Jemaeth. Bersani tying up the faceoff across from Tattern. Puck finally sent out. So I got a little more of a physical tone early in this one. A lot of wrestling matches so far. Guys tying each other up, knocking each other down. Speaking of which, there's a hit by Sequoia Swan, but the puck's still not out of danger. Tatterin will feed it over to the right point. Shot in, and that was blocked before it got to Colgan. Swan clears it out. Columbus will call for the change here with Bersani up on the forecheck. Tatterin will turn away from him on the far side. And we are eight minutes into this first period. one nothing Bobcats. There's a stretch. Sazanov, it's got a tip. He'll head to the bench. No icing. Columbus on the regroup. They'll move it ahead. Here's Layton. To center, flings it into the right side corner. Moore up after him. Layton keeping it in down for the right point. Puck rolls away behind the net, fed to the far side, and now just banked out. Duncan has to chase. Back to the far face off dot in his own end. Duncan will round the net on the backhand. Now come up the right side. Brody Duncan leading the charge. He'll try to cut in past the D. Into the right side corner. Centering attempt knocked away by Green, but not out of danger yet. Now it's pulled out. Bobcats able to move it. Back the other way quickly on the left wing is Andreoli. Andreoli waiting for help. Try to feed the left side corner. Layton tying up on that far side. Now it's picked out. Shinkarik and now quickly ahead come the River Dragons. Here's Moore at center. Lifts it into space. Wanted Shinkarik. Feed was behind him. Martin right back out the other way. Daly up the left wing at the line. Cuts around one. Gets it across. Martin cutting in a shot. He scores. Martin going right to left. Colgan went down, had the right pad out, but Martin was able to tuck it underneath the crossbar. 
And not halfway into this first period, the Bobcats have a 2-0 lead. Nine oh eight time of the goal. Columbus still doesn't have a shot on goal yet in this one. Martin's got his fifteenth of the season. Andrioli picks up an assist on that one. As did Daly. Daly with a nice move at the line to keep that play alive. And that's what really made that happen. Blue Ridge pushing in the other way. Here they come to the left side again. Wolf. He's run into the boards. Shoving with Krupp right now. Puck to the left point. Fed to the far corner. Pop off. Shouldering with Wolf over there. Fed behind the net. Chance on the near side. Bobcats up to the left point. Shot coming in. That one wide. Wrap around to the far side. Couldn't get it to go. Wolf knocked down by Anderson. Penalty coming up against Columbus. Looks like it's going to be a high sticking call. River Dragon shorthanded when we come back. Trailing 2 nothing halfway through this first period. Oh, here we go. Troop. Getting into a tussle over there, but the linesman got in quickly. So, all right, now we will indeed go to break. Back of the war in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Hi, I'm Jade, and a little thing I love. Hey, y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Well, a stilted start for the Columbus River Dragons here tonight on Legends of Columbus Hockey Night. They're down 2 0. 9.57 left to go in the first period. Columbus doesn't have a shot on goal yet, and now they're shorthanded. Hugh Anderson into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Two minutes are high sticking. Face off will come to the left of Colgan. And let's see, the River Dragons are going to start with Austin Doe out there. Sequoia Swan, who's going to take this face off, and then Bockwell and Underwood. Newberg in there for the draw. Puck is fed to the right point, and they'll go to work. Here's Andrioli with a drive and a glove. Save Colgan despite the traffic in front, and here comes a pile again. That was a good stop by Colgan with all that traffic right in front. Swan is just absolutely trying to pull Newberg around. And now there's some glove punches being thrown in there. By one of the Bobcats. Swan was tied up with Andrioli and that was Newberg who was punching Swan in the back of the head. Looks like Bockwell has gone into the box, and if Newberg doesn't go, I'll be shocked. Ten twelve. Time of the penalties, and yes, indeed, he is going in. Probably roughing calls that are going to cancel each other out here. 
Your referee introductions for tonight's game brought to you by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City. You should see the game they're missing. Right now at the Optical Shop in Phoenix City, just $99 and a bag of chips gets you two pair of eyeglasses, your referees tonight. Number 64, Ken Radolinski, and number 73, Phil Rusler. Your linesman, number 75, Alex Cole, and number 80, Gary Glassman. So let's see what they dole out here. Only eight seconds elapsed in that Hugh Anderson high sticking call, so we didn't get very far. Could be five on four, could be four on three. There is no extra penalty time up on the clock right now, so I'm assuming it's one or the other. Ken Radolinski explaining to representatives from both teams of the referee's crease about what the story will be on the penalties, and there's a lot of nodding, so looks like everything's good to go. So I think Blockwell picks up cross-checking, and then it's going to be roughing for Newberg. Faceoff will come outside the River Dragons blue line. Surprisingly, Sequoia Swan, I thought he was the one going, and it was Bockwill who ended up in the box. Swan basically took all the punches to the back of the head to draw that other penalty. Blue Ridge pushes the puck into the Columbus end here. Leighton out there now, along with Underwood in this penalty killing situation. Doe and Swan out there as well. Bobcats pull it out. They'll put it up top, and actually it goes out of the zone. Now the River Dragons looking for a shorthanded chance. There's a shot by Swan that was blocked. Daly back the other way, cross ice feet. To Vlasov in the right wing corner. He'll leave it off up the wall. Daly poking at it. Bouncer to the line is cleared out. Norwinski back to his own blue line. He'll leave it off for Martin, who swings by. Martin up in the right wing, in over the line. All the way behind the goal, Martin down to the left point, but the puck never got to him, and it's cleared on down by Alex Jemaev. 49 seconds to go in the man advantage. Bobcats first power play of the game for either side here. Their power play, 9% coming into the game. That's last in the league. River Dragons kill us first at 86.6. Bobcats bring it in on the right side. Puck behind the net. And it's tied up back there. Columbus trying to move it along. Ends up at the right point. Norwinski on the right side. And it's poked away. And now perhaps a shorthanded chance. Up the left wing, Columbus pushing in, trying to hop in on goal, unable to make it through there was Duncan. Nice job by Duncan to rush that one all the way up as it's cleared all the way back down the ice by Bersani. All the way to Colgan, who takes the roller and paddles that one around to the near side. That's the end of the power play. Anderson out of the box. Columbus has killed it off. Ivan off behind his own net. Bobcats regroup. River Dragons resetting the lines here as we got back to five on five. Dumped in and Colgan will backhand it away. Big hit there. Pop off running into Ernst. Who bats the puck out of the air but put his team offside. River Dragons back quickly. Onto the right side. Here's Kyle Moore moving in wide. Moore stops in the corner. Tries to dance his way free over there. Ivan off will reverse it around to the near side. But on it is Ryan Hunter. Hunter to the point. Underwood right back down the wall. Moore try to get to the roller. Shinkarek there out the near side with it to Hunter in front. And he had a stick tied up, couldn't shoot. Cleared off the glass, left point, puck kept in. And now it's knocked out along with the player. And up come the Bobcats right side. Andrioli moving into the backhand. A shot blocker save Colgan. 
Puck in the left side, centered, and it's kicked away by Layton. Around to the far side, up the dasher it goes. Ryan Hunter up to center. Bounces off a hit. Now Shinkarik up by himself with a wrist shot. Missed the net. On the rebound, Shinkarik up the far side. Left shot, Hunter cycling up the wall, feeding the left point. Duncan has to send it back down the rim. On to the near side, half boards. Hunter tries to cut it off there. Off a of body on the right side, that hit Jay Krupp. He feeds the right point, Layton quickly on goal, and that's held by Green. Elports a face off to his left, 6.22. Left to go in this first period. Bobcats with a 2-0 lead. Let's take a quick break, 10 seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Face off will be to the left of the Bombcats net. Face off one back by Blue Ridge. Spun around to the far side. Not out of the zone yet. Columbus still looking for its first shot of the hockey game. We're almost 14 minutes into it. There's a centering attempt. That would have swung wide in front of the net by Krupp. Now it's clear to head off Martin. Bobcats to center. A long shot in, and that's absorbed by Colgan. He'll hold on. Colgan must be feeling a little feisty tonight. Instead of hanging on the pucks, after he makes a save, he just flips the puck away. Little, little body language things that you pick up over a long season or two of watching a player. Off the face-off, Ivashkin had the stick chopped right out of his hands, couldn't play it. Anderson will play it off the stanchion, and it kicks right back down. What a weird bounce. Right-siders, Krupp off the glass, moving it ahead. Bouncer there, Wickline, trying to keep it moving forward, carries it in over the line, even though he was tied up. Bobcats feed it back forward defensively up the near side. Wickline pushing it around behind the net. Storjahan chasing him on the far side. Krupp ends up with it on the left wing. Tied up on the referee's skates. And that one is pushed out by the Bobcats. Krupp will leave it off at center and now on the right wing. Here's Storjahan. Stops. He over the line and he'll feed it down low. Coming up on five minutes left to go here in this first period. 2-0 Bobcats in the lead. Tattern will feed it on back as Blue Ridge regroups. They'll try the right side, backhanding it in from center. Colgan will steer it aside. Doe, knocked down, puck stays in. Bouncer there, Underwood trying to force it out. Jemayev gets it over the line. Jemayev backhands in from center. Green flings it right back up the near side wall. And now back come the Bobcats, and Rioli feeds it onto the right side. Tattern around into the left wing corner. Centering attempt, that hit a leg, ends up in the near side dot. Columbus will scoop it up. Curling back, Doe protecting the puck. Underwood up the left wing. Dump Dennis, Columbus heads for the change. Swan up on the four check here. 4.07 to go in the first, two nothing your score. Bobcats in the lead. That one is jammed off the dasher down the ice. Anderson chasing it. And the whistle goes. That'll bring us to our final media timeout of the period. 3.57 to go here in the first. 2-0 Blue Ridge in the lead. This is Chick-fil-A River Dragons hockey. I spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Tierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A spicy chicken biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Ice spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You look... 3.57 to go on the first. Two-nothing Bobcats in the lead. Eight nothing shots on goal in favor of the Bobcats. That's right, Columbus does not have a shot yet in this period. They do have an offensive zone draw. There is no uh, Justin McDonald, no Josh Petrantonio, no Nolan Slahetka tonight. They all have the night off. River Dragons filling it around them. Carter Shinkarik is centering Hunter and Moore. That's the line that's out there now. Along with Duncan and Hugh Anderson. Shakarik wins the draw back. Duncan at the right point, keeps it around the glass. Moore behind the net. Shinkarik tried to center. There was nobody there for it. Dump the other way. Columbus at center, regrouping. Hunter will feed it back to the D right side. Here's Duncan. And Shinkarik off his skates, has to loop back with it. Columbus will toss it into the right side corner. Norwinski around the far side. Bobcats control. Now they get it ahead. Sazadovitz in on the right wing, but he just stick handled it away from himself in the slot. The River Dragons trying to reset a little bit here. Up the right side, here's Anderson. He'll bring it in. Hugh Anderson down the right wing. Leaving it off for Ryan Hunter. Hunter pestered in space, lost it, gets it back. Hunter in the right wing, loops out the far side. Ryan Hunter, turnaround shot off the outside of the net. Puck cleared out to center. Underwood on it. River Dragons changing, they'll move in on the right wing. Storjahan stops in the right half wall. Bersani flings it around to the left point. Held in there, long shot coming in. Nope, blocked by the D. Storjahan on it though. Now up top, there's a chance that one sent to the glass. Underwood down from the right point, battling to keep it in along the wall. They still tie up over it. Fed up top, Storjaha moving to his left, leaves it off Jamaev, cross ice, Bockwell. His shot, and he scores! The first shot of the game is a wrist shot. That is completely muffed by Connor Green off the tip of his glove and into the net. And the River Dragons score. There'll be penalties on the play here, but Bockwill gets a little bit of luck. Seventeen fifty-three. time of the goal. And Bersani ends up in the box. Along with uh, Stephen Ford. And I think those are gonna even out. As Ford absolutely reefed Bersani after the goal. I did not see what Bersani did, but might be safe to assume they're both roughing. So it'll be four on four. I can tell you that Ford got roughing. But Bockwell scores his second goal of the year. And Columbus is on the board with its first shot of the game. Well, they're saying Storjahan tipped it, so 
Here's a shot by Wickline, and that one ends up in the right side corner. And a penalty coming up here as Block will add a stick broken in half of the slash. Here's Wickline into the slot. Doe on it, feeding it over to the far side off the discarded stick. Battling for it still. Wickline lost it finally, but boy, that shaft of that stick forwarded that. But slashing against the Bobcats. And now, boy, again, Bockwill. I think on the way by Sazanovitz, or no, that's Andrioli who's going into the box. I think Andrioli got a piece of Bockwill. And, well, let me tell you, there's uh, no love lost between these teams, even with a former River Dragon like Andrioli. He's in there for slashing. 18.34, time of the penalty, and now you have a very rare four-on-three power play. River Dragons onto the Loft power play. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday nights. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for two-for-one deal on cover only at the Loft. So let's see, the River Dragons are going to put out Hunter, Krupp, Underwood, and Shinkarik. This is an interesting situation. It's 2-1 Bobcats. Columbus scored on its first shot of the game. Right now that's credited to Storjahan. Columbus will start with possession. And they'll move it around up top. Shinkarik over to Underwood, top of the near circle, top of the far circle, Shinkarik. He'll switch with Underwood to the near dot to Hunter. Hunter, Shinkarik doesn't shoot. Hunter, Shinkarik, now he lets it go, and a blocker saved by Green, rebound behind the net. Pushed up, Hunter over Shinkarik, again unwinds. That one found the glass. Around it comes, and unable to keep it in is Ryan Hunter. Puck down the ice. 48 seconds to go in the period, 40 seconds in this four on three. Columbus moves in, there's a shot, Green will make the save. Columbus does here. Looks like they're going to go uh, Wickline and Doe. Wickline has Duncan over his left shoulder, and actually Duncan scoots down to the hash marks. Buck one back to Duncan. Not a Bockwell. Near Dodgers. Doe walks in, shoots, and a glove save. Green. Boy, Doe had all the time in the world to line up that shot, too. Took a good look. Columbus on it again. They'll set it around up top. Here's Bockwill. Bockwill through traffic. Hit a body. Puck in front. Green stretching and gets to the rebound. That one right, right into the chest of Wickline, who had a good whack at it. Couldn't get it to go. Eighteen point nine to go here in the first. Two one Bobcats. Fates off to the right of the Bobcats goal. And Blue Ridge wins it back into the corner. Time ticking down here in the period. It'll go five on four before we're out. Here's Doe wrapping it around to the near side. To the right point, Bach will his shot. Pinballing away in front. It's cleared towards the line. Not out. Kept in. Another chance. Banked wide of the net. One second to go. That'll do it. So 34 seconds of carryover power play time for the River Dragons who score on their only shot of the period. Well, actually, now they've run the shots up a little bit higher. Okay. Columbus now with a couple extra shots up on the board, but they scored on their first shot of the period. And the River Dragons took a little while to get going, but seemed to uh, kind of have found the offense a little bit here, but it's been a testy first period. Coach Zemlichka for the... Blue Ridge Bobcats, plenty to say on his way out. 
It's, uh, it's been an interesting night so far. Took us a while to even get the game underway. Once we did, it has been, I don't want to say a penalty-filled affair, but it's been, it's been testy. And both teams have certainly been in one another's faces. I think this one could be a long game here tonight. And certainly uh, for the River Dragons and the Bobcats. The Bobcats, of course, playing for pride and contracts next year. And the River Dragons, who clinched everything last night, opting to rest some players here today. But, well, we'll see. We'll see what the next 40 minutes or so brings. Don't forget the River Dragons have to play tomorrow in Mississippi, an afternoon game, 405 Central, 505 Eastern time. So... A lot going on this weekend here. Plenty, uh, plenty of things to talk about. So, all right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got more on the way as we step into our first period intermission report, which is brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do. Two one Bobcats after one. This is River Dragons hockey. Dragon. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip-In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. The Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. Tom Callahan here with you, and it's a 2 1 game right now in favor of the Blue Ridge Bobcats. As we take a look back at the scoring wrap from that first period of play, it was just a strange start to the game tonight. It was delayed as it was, had a couple of issues, including his Amboni issue. And uh, you know what? It's It's been one of those nights. Blue Ridge scored twice before Columbus ever got a shot on goal. And as we look at the 
And the other thing is, wait till you hear the time of the goal. This is how long it took Columbus to get a shot on goal. But 6.47 into the game, the scoring started on a goal by Joel Frazee, his ninth of the year for Martin at 6.47. And that opened it up for the Bobcats, 1-0. And then Martin ends up scoring the next one, his 15th from Andreoli and Daly at 9.08. And it's 2-0 Bobcats at that point. Then it's 17.53. So yes, exactly what that sounds like, 17.53. That's how long it took for the first shot of the game. The River Dragons got that shot. <laughs> Boy, we're having a musical chairs brawl out here. <laughs> we're gonna need judges, judges. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> the chair's flat on the ice and they're just both laying on it. This is, this is fantastic musical chairs. Oh, they made him go rock, paper, scissors. I like it. All right, they're gonna they're gonna settle this musical chairs thing once and for all. But yeah, it took almost 18 minutes of the first period for Columbus to get their first shot of the period, and it goes in, and it goes off the tip of the glove of the goaltender Green and in. Now right now they're crediting Storjahan. I thought that was a Bockwell shot, and I called it that way at the time. Um, maybe Storge got a tip to it and perhaps they will change the goal to Storjahan if he deflected it on the way in but then Bockwell should certainly pick up an assist as the guy who shot the puck so we'll see what happens with all that uh, and we will definitely let you know if that scoring changes but that was the goal that got the River Dragons on the board and Columbus is now down 2-1 as we head into the intermission. The River Dragons do carry 34 seconds of power play time over as Andrew only picked up a slashing minor towards the end of the frame. The River Dragons right now, that is actually their first power play of the game and they are technically zero for zero, still pending that first outcome. 0 for one for the Bobcats. Shots finished eight six in favor of Blue Ridge in the opening period. Time for us to take another break in the Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. When we come back, Zelmo zipping out of town. Scoreboard time. Stay tuned. A lot of scoreboard watching tonight. And we know at least one of the two teams heading into the national championship game on Monday night for men's college hoops. Tell you who it is when we come back on River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Football time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected, all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other. Georgette and I do. 
That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs> And we're back in the Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. Tom Callahan here with you. Eight and a half minutes of intermission time for me to talk to you about this out of town scoreboard. Oh, I'm so excited. By the way, the Zamboni is out there right now without incident. So let's all keep our fingers crossed. Let's knock wood. Let's do whatever we need to do to keep the good luck rolling right now on that. <laughs> it's been an interesting night. That's for sure. We've had all kinds of delays this evening. But we are through one period of play, and it is 2-1 Bobcats. All right. So to that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard here for you. Binghamton's got a 3-0 lead over the Danbury Hattricks, and that one is in the second period of play. And also going on right now, it's 2-2 between Carolina and Mississippi halfway through the second period there. Watertown and Elmira have battled to a 1-1 draw 20 minutes into that game. And coming up here, well, actually just underway a little while ago, so about halfway through that first period now, you've got Baton Rouge and Port Huron scoreless. In the NHL finals from earlier today, Penn's 5-4 over the Lightning. Bruins 3-2 in overtime take down the Panthers. Blackhawks 3-2 over the Stars. 4-2 Jets over the Wild. Sharks leading the Blues 2-1 in the third. Blue Jackets up 3-0 on the Flyers, and that is in the second period. Leafs with a 2-0 lead over the Canadians in the second period. Devils 3-1 over the Senators, also in the second. One period into it, Preds and Islanders are still scoreless. 10 o'clock puck drop tonight. Oilers at Flames, Canucks at Kings. Major League Baseball for you. A lot of games underway right now. Bottom of the third, the Yankees are up 6-1 on the Blue Jays. Bottom of the sixth, White Sox, Royals scoreless. Bottom of the fifth, Mariners 3-0 over the Brewers. Top of the fourth, 2-1 Astros over the Rangers. Also top of the fourth, Diamondbacks 6-0 over the Braves. Middle of the first, Rays 1-0 over the Rockies. Finals from earlier, 4-0 Athletics blank the Tigers. Guardians 3-1 over the Twins. 3-1 Cardinals over the Marlins. 4-1 Dodgers beat the Cubs. In 11 innings, the Pirates top the Orioles 5-4. Phillies 5-2 over the Nationals. Reds 9-6 over the Mets. Later starts 9:05. You've got Padres at Giants, and then 9:38 the Red Sox are at the Angels. And a men's college basketball. The uh, tip is about 25 minutes away for number four Alabama and number one UConn, and the winner of that game plays number one Purdue, 63-50 winners over number 11 NC State, and so Purdue the Boilermakers into the championship game. Now they await Alabama or UConn. I know a lot of people thinking UConn's going to roll over Alabama, but I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that one's going to tip off, like I say, about 25 minutes from now. So that's your out-of-town scoreboard. And I tell you right now the way things are going, let's just kind of look back at the bigger playoff picture in the FPHL. Elmira Watertown tied at one. That bodes well for Elmira because they have that gap over Watertown in the standings. Coming in to tonight's game, they have a six-point lead. And even if the game goes past regulation, Elmira's picking up another point. That's just edging them closer to locking out Watertown. So River Sharks are fine with that. And then Danbury, if they lose tonight, there would be no way they could catch Motor City because they would have two games. Well, actually, check that. They could catch Motor City. They're five points back of Motor City, but Danbury would have to win their two remaining games after tonight. Right now, trailing Binghamton 3-0. So not the end of their chances to catch Motor City, but boy, oh boy, it looks like a very tall order. And uh, likely that Motor City is going to end up with first round uh, home ice advantage in that series against Danbury. So... That's the uh, breakdown of the scoreboard and the standings and the playoff implications thereof as the quest for the Commissioner's Cup will begin the week of April 15th. Regular season for the River Dragons ends on April 13th. That is fan appreciation night. Plenty of giveaways, prizes, all kinds of fun stuff going on that night. It's also 
Our last Chick-fil-A Midland Kissin' 99.3 Family 4-Pack Night were for just $40. You can get four tickets to the game, four Pepsi products, four hot dogs, four popcorn. That's right, we're going to feed you. And how about four Chick-fil-A coupons as well? All for just 40 bucks. You cannot beat that deal. And it's our final Family 4-Pack of the season. And it's brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland Kissin' 99.3 Buffalo Rock Pepsi Brewster's Ice Cream the Columbus Civic Center, what more could you ask for? Hope you're able to make it down for that. But keep in mind, those are only available through the Columbus River Dragons office. You must come down to the River Dragons office in order to get that deal. And keep in mind, every win streak of three or more this year brought to you by Tim Hortons. Join Tim's Rewards today and get any flavor medium cold drink in your first week when you sign up. Visit TimHortons.com or download the app in your app store today. 2-1 Bobcats after one. That's it for the first period intermission report. Second period action on the other side of the break. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys, who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Gosh. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. And we are back for the second period action. River Dragons, 34 seconds of power play time to kick things off here. Trailing the Bobcats 2-1 and tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 a month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! So Columbus is going to start with Jemayev out there along with Bockwill. And I think that is Wickline Hunter. 
And yeah, not sure is there's still discussion going on over at the River Dragons bench with coach Justin McDonald, who is out there along with coach Josh Petrantonio for tonight. You know what I'm just noticing? Boomer's not on the bench. And now I'm not sure if I saw him. I thought I saw him out there in the first period. But uh, he's not out there for the second period. So. Huh. All right, here we go. River Dragons rolling right to left in front of our broadcast location. Jamea will win the drawback. And immediately Ryan Hunter will bring it in on the left side to leave it off to the left point. Blockwell looking in front, his shot deflects and ends up with the defense. They'll send it down the ice. Colgan will wait for it there, paddle it back up the wall. Hunter getting it across in Columbus with Blockwell turning in space to center. Left side to Hunter, has Jamaif with him. Hunter lost it. And the Bobcats will turn it back the other way. That's the end of the power play. Out of the box comes Andrioli. Columbus over for one with the man advantage. River Dragons will wheel back in on the right side. Curling off is Shinkarik. He lost it. And now break back for the Bobcats up the left side. Duncan hustling back. There's a chance for the wing back door. They score. Carson Andrioli scores against his own team on a two-on-one. Just 52 seconds into the second period, it's 3-1 Bobcats. And so for Andrioli, that's his eighth of the year. Fifty two seconds. Time of the goal. Swan knocked down from behind. Crowd wanted a penalty. Swan knocked down again. And now Doe comes over and he knocks down McHugh, who knocked him down twice. So River Dragons. Now there's a big hit. Duncan stepping up. Now Columbus is going to have to do something to get it going. Turn back in and Green will move it behind the net. Into the far side corner. And out to center it goes. Left side here's Doe back in over the line, offside. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E.com. Are your sides a little off? Well, get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. Book online anytime. Plus, you can book 24 7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Old School Barbershop reservations highly recommended. And Rioli from McHugh is the goal. And it's 3-1 Bobcats to start this second period. Well, Columbus needs to find its pushback here. Storage on the left side, centering feet, puck loose in the slot. And Rioli able to move it out. They'll flip it in, Colgan. We'll send it around to the near side. And Columbus into space. Here's Anderson moving up as Krupp with him. Anderson on the right side, a backhand on goal. Green save, big rebound in the slot, swatted away. And down it goes, a roller that is in on Colgan. He has to play it, no icing. Puck banked out to center. Away from Storjahan. Blue Ridge regrouping in its own end. They'll play it off the glass. And now the other way, Anderson feeding right side. Here's Jay Krupp. Krupp driving in the right wing. Lost an edge over there. Puck still not out. Now it's carried out by Blue Ridge. Dumped in from there into the far side corner. Off angle chance ripped right across the goal mouth. Comes up to the right point. Ford holding it in. On to the left side, and Moore hooks up a stick. It, oh, they're going to call him for that? Oh, Kyle Moore disrupted a shot attempt there for Norwinsky by getting him with the stick, and they're going to get Moore for hooking on the play.
Face off will be to the left of Colgan. Time of the hooking call, 2.49. As Moore in the Abercrombie bonding penalty box, River Dragons start by sending it down the ice. Jay Krupp, by the way, has gone back to the dressing room, appeared to get hurt in that collision on the far side where he got wrapped up with Tatter. And so hopefully he's all right. Icing against the Bobcats on an errant pass there. Swan, Jemayev. Block Will Underwood out there for this part of the penalty kill. Face off coming up to the right of the Bobcats net. It's pushed in behind the net. Jemayev trying to follow it over there. The Bobcats setting it up. They'll come out the left side and break the zone up to center. Blue Ridge pushing right in, puck to the right wing corner. It's cleared up the wall and Swan will send it the rest of the way down. Swan just giving a little business to Andreoli on the way by, up on the four check here, forcing the play out the left side of the net. Andreoli at center, cutting across center. He'll backhand it into the near side corner. Chance for Columbus to clear again, and they do. Get it just over the line? No, not out. Kept in. Blue Ridge sending it up. Vlasov at the right point. To the near dot, Vlasov tried to feed it across. That one is broken up and cleared out by Bersani. 41 seconds to go on the man advantage. 3-1 Bobcats, 4-10 into the second period. Blue Ridge up the right side. It'll be brought ahead. Tattering in offside. And now Tattering and Duncan have a little come together. Linesman get in there. Face off on the near side of the ice, just outside the Columbus line. Bobcats with possession. Bohan will swing it over to the left side. It's sent in. 21 seconds ago on the power play for the Bobcats as it's cleared to the line and it rolls out and now a race for the puck. But Daly will get there just ahead of Bersani. Bersani still all over him. Daly feeds it across the ice. Tanner with a bouncing puck off the dasher. Lost it, now it's fed in front. There's a shot, Green to his left to make the save on Bersani. There's another chance, Green with the save. Power play expires, back to five on five. Left point, Duncan holding it in. His shot tipped on the way through. Bouncer far side, hooked right back up the slot out the other side. Boy, there should have absolutely been a hooking penalty there on the Bobcats. Doe sends it in on the left wing side. It ends up in the right wing corner. Boy, that scoring chance was denied by a hook that made the one that Kyle Moore went to the box for pale in comparison, but they didn't call it. Doe down the right wing side. And my point is it can't be a penalty in one end and not in the other. Five on five, five and a half minutes into the second puck free in front, rolled away from Ryan Hunter who tried to backhand. Martin forcing it in and well, now you can feel the uh, the urgency pick up a little bit here in this hockey game. It feels like both teams are awake. Columbus pushing in. Here's a chance from the right side and Moore tried to get through three defenders, couldn't do it, lost the puck. Bobcats the other way. Right side, here they come. Wolf in the backhand, trying to slide it in front. Pushed away by Popoff. Up the far side, Wolf turning it right back down low. Behind the net, Anderson chases his man. Puck out the near side. Nice job in front. Helping out defensively there. Popoff. And Wolf tied up, didn't let him get a shot away. Puck is tossed to center. Hunter stretching for it, taken away by Ivanov. And now up the right wing, here's Wolf. Wolf in, carries wide, tucks it in front. Colgan the save. Shinkarik has to carry it behind the net as Wolf got run into. He's a little slow to get up. Back up the left wing, here's Hunter. Hunter coming in and 
Krupp got out there and got hurt again. There's a shot wide to the net. Jay Krupp is struggling to get on the bench. Krupp went off the ice, went back out there, and looks like he got hurt again and just barely made it off the ice. Tough couple of shifts for number 22. Swan back on the right side, leaving into the slot. Wick line, a shot steered into the corner. Swan on the rebound. Up to the right point, quickly over to the left side. Bockwell's got to chase it down the dasher. It bounced in front of him. Clear to the line. And Storjahan keeping it in. Iboshkin, left side. He's trying to move it out. Takes a shoulder there from Wickline. Puck stays down low. Swan runs into his man. Storjahan far side. Feeds the right point. Underwood trying to find some room. Underwood lets it go. Blocked away to the corner. Storjahan, Underwood lets it go again. Saved by the left pad of Green. And now it's cleared off the glass off Underwood at the line. Oh, he took a stick up high there from Sazanovitz. Tip down the ice, there'll be no icing as Colgan comes out to play. And I'm just going to call it now. This one will explode. Wick line leaving it on the left side. Here's Swan in over the line. Wrist shot, sent it high. Around the right side, Storge Hunt all the way up to the point. Fanned on sending it across. If Oshkin got it out, down it goes. Bonk will chasing. Near side, here's Duncan. Duncan ahead at center, bouncing it in past his man for an icing call. Ford back for the touch. 8.09 into the second, 3-1 Bobcats, but it's picking up here in this WOW Internet second period. More in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. <laughs> Well, sorry, it was a second late coming back from the break here. Just had to uh, help a parachute out of the rafters. <laughs> ah, we figured it out. We got it done. It's all good. Face off coming up to the right of Colgan, 8.09 into the second period, 3 1 Bobcats. Buck is tied up on that far side wall. The pressure cooker tightens here at the Columbus Civic Center. And I think before the night is through, we will uh, definitely see it come to fisticuffs here. Puck in on goal, Colgan knocks it away. It's just got that feel to it. Far dot, there's a shot tipped in behind the net. Kept in from the right point by Ford, but now it's cleared out down the ice it goes. Bohan after it. And he'll dump it in from center. Colgan on it, plays it right back up to Duncan. Duncan up the left wing to Hunter. Ryan Hunter moving in, long wrist shot, steered aside by Green with a right pad. Hunter into the corner, tied up with Ford. Hunter out of the pile up the near side. It is turnaround shot, Green the save. Good job to get that on net. Cleared, hit Bersani, stays in. Bersani has shot, blocker save. Bersani on his own rebound near side. Flings it on the backhand. Hunter in the left side corner. Hunter to Bersani. Centering attempt didn't go through. And now big hit by Moore on the near side ahead to Andreoli. Andreoli will chip and charge right side into the corner. Looking for a little bit of help. Puck left in space, but turned over to Columbus. Hunter lets it go down the ice. Ernst sending it across onto the far side, dumped it again by Blue Ridge. Boy, you can hear the guys yelling at one another from all the way up here. Bersani took a run up there at 
Norwinski, and those two were jawing as they headed off the ice. Here's Burson, or pardon me, Hunter behind the net. Oh boy, puck went right through the goal crease somehow. It kicked away from Hunter. Fortunately, no harm, no foul, but now turned over at center. Back in come the Bobcats. On the right wing side, here's a centering feed by Ernst, but Iboshkin couldn't get a stick on it. Sazanovitz and Leighton are still tied up. Now they separate finally. Puck wrapped around by the Bobcats. Into the slot, kicked away by Columbus. Store Jahan. Feed it back. Leighton. Up ahead, Swan will tip it on in. He'll go up and get it. Right side. He's going to force him. Mohan behind the net to the far corner. Turned over. Centering attempt. Swan picks it off. Tried to feed the point, but he hit Wolf. And now the Bobcats able to shove it to center. They come back in the right wing. Iboshkin trying to slide free in the wall. Cutting in towards the net. And the puck right across the goal crease. Out the other side. A shot. And uh, that one went off a of Bobcats player. Wolf got hit with the puck while he was down. Martin put a slap shot right into him. Puck played ahead, Storjohan getting it down the ice. Swan chasing, no icing here. Norwinski back after it. Ivanov up the right side. Wolf will send it in from center. Colgan out to cut it off behind the net. Back hands it away to the far side. Martin gets there first. Martin leaving it at the point, but past both defensemen, down it goes. Eight and a half to go here in the second. 3-1 Bobcats in the lead. Lead pass misses everybody, but on the far side, Frazee beats out the icing call. Frazee behind the net. Glass off, trying to center. Put it off Jamaif. Jamaif steals a puck away. Skates up the right side. Jamaif in over the blue line. Stops on the right half wall. Swings it towards the net. Knocked away by Connor Green. Doe on the rebound. Right side. Trying to move it free over there. Puck towards the slot, and it's cleared out. And now Blue Ridge regrouping. Puck at center off Underwood, pops up in the air, bouncer to the Columbus line. He is put in, and that is onside. Glasov, now it's punched past him, now to center. Ford on the right wing. He'll dump it in right on Colgan. Leaves it aside with the blocker, but now a chance in on goal, and that one is shot wide. Colgan might have got a piece. Back the other way. Here's Jamaif at center. Jamaif, well, that play would have been offside. Bersani just wasn't able to hold the momentum. But Blue Ridge back the other way. Now two on one developing. Fed up top. Tanner and a shot. What a save by Colgan. Colgan whips the glove up and gets it with the cuff. Knocks it out of play. What a stop by Colgan. That keeps it 3-1 Bobcats. 7.15 to go in the second. We're back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood. All right, 7.15 to go in the second. 3-1 Bobcats. Five on five hockey here. off here. Let's see when we eventually get around to it. There we go. There's one back by Columbus as Shinkarik pulls it back. Underwood gave it back to him. And now Columbus will move it ahead. 
There's a stretch. Here's Hunter. He's in behind the D. Ryan Hunter cutting it. A goal. Hit the goal post. Puck ends up on the near side. Bobcats able to clear it just over the line. Shinkarik will wheel back with it. He'll curl back inside the River Dragons blue line. And again, here's Ryan Hunter in between the D, and he's hooked up. Penalty coming up. Hunter with a puck in his skates. Trying to move it. Extra man is out, but the whistle goes. 6.41 to go in the second. Columbus back to the power play. For just the second time tonight, they're 0 for 1 on the Law Power Play. The Law features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a 2 for 1 deal on cover. Hooking is the call. 13 19, time of the penalty. It's Matthew Ernst into the box. Face off to the right of the Bobcats goal. River Dragons power play, second in the league coming into tonight. 27.9%. Bobcats kill at sixth, 80.9. Face off controlled by Columbus. They'll put it over to the far side here, still trying to keep it in. Storage on to the right side. Up top, Underwood to Moore. Underwood, middle of the blue line, wrist shot, and a save made by Green. No rebound as he catches that one. 1.38 to go on the power play. Face off will be to the right of the Bobcats net. One back to the left point. And Columbus trying to push it along that left side wall. Swan into that pile. Tried to center it. Sequoia Swan. Tied up behind the net as well. A backhand lift to the point. And it is kept in. Bouncing puck in the high slot area. And now bounces out. Columbus has to regroup at center. They're going to change while they're at it. Doe back in on the left wing. Store Jahan on the left side. He'll go across the blue line to Moore near side. Dom Moore into the slot. Swan had it checked off his stick. Moore back after it. Moore all the way up top to the left point himself. Curling across. Moore in the slot. A shot block comes to the blue line and out. 45 seconds ago on the man advantage for Columbus. Block will. Patiently through center, right side, Swan will cut in. He's got room on the wing, a shot, and the save made by Green. No rebound there. Surprise, Swan had a little burst of speed down the right side. Not surprised at the burst, but surprised that nobody went to him. And he did the right thing, shot the puck, put it right in on goal. Face off will be to the left of the Bobcats net with 35 seconds to go in the loft power play for the River Dragons. Wickline has his bucket removed, and he's got to head off the ice while the River Dragons control. There's a shot and a goal, save made. Rebound, Jamea fighting for it, can't get to it. It goes off Wickline's discarded helmet, not out of the zone. Bach will leaving it off here, Shinkarik. He'll try the right side. Shinkarik in over the line. Shinkarik to the dot with a wrist shot, and again the save. Green hangs on to that. 4.52 to go in the second. 11 seconds to go in the River Dragons power play. Columbus trails 3-1. We're back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. 
Get two entrees and Emma Moore. It's in our name. Tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! 11 seconds to go on this River Dragons power play. 3-1 Bobcats, 4.52 to go here in the second. Quick line in for the faceoff. Tied up on the dot. River Dragons pull it out. Bockwell sends it around the rim. It ends up in the left side corner towards Shinkarik. Shinkarik feeding it down low. They'll get it up top. Shot Bockwell in a goal. They score! No. High stick. No goal. I think the argument the River Dragons are trying to make is that they didn't get it with a stick. Jamaif maybe saying it went off his body, not his stick, but it's waved off immediately, so no goal. Well, that's a tough break for Columbus. But four and a half to go. We're back to five on five hockey. Now it stays 3-1 Bobcats. Blue Ridge will toss it out through center. Duncan has to go back for it. Columbus looking to play it back in here. Played off the glass, didn't clear the zone. Picked up by Doe, in with a shot, save green. Rebound sitting there. Doe has moved off the puck, Tattern. Trying to leave it back on the near side, Norwinski bounces it out. Now it's pushed in, Colgan comes way out to play it away up the right side to Bersani, tied up with the linesman. Dumped right back in, Colgan the save. And now, there was a hit there. And Duncan wants McHugh to throw the gloves off. He won't. Duncan took a swat at him. I'm telling you, it's coming. Columbus chasing it back. Parker Layton back into his own end. Plays it away from Mivashkin. Up on the left side here. Storjahan in over the line. His pass off the skates of Krupp. Krupp's going to turn back to the bench. Jay Krupp is not 100%. He's back out there. He's been off the ice twice for an injury, but he just doesn't look right. Storjahan to the right side corner. Puck behind the net. Centering attempt. Wickline right in on goal. And the save made by Green at the left post. Two fifty-six to go in the second. Three-one Bobcats. Let me hear you, Dragons fans! Draw to the left of the Bobcats goal. One back by Blue Ridge. Played around to the near side and. It'll be moved ahead. Colgan out to play it away. Jamaev up the boards, battling Andrioli. Puck kept in at the line. Shot coming in. Boham ripped it wide. Storage Han will try the far side. Up the right wing he goes to center. Chips it ahead. Wick line moving in, looking in front for Jamaev. Couldn't get the puck through. Puck goes behind the net. Jamaev swings it around towards the right point. Pop off. Able to keep it in. Jamaev on the half boards to Wickline in the corner. Right side. Wickline tried to feed the point. Hit Jamaev. Now he gets it to Jamaev. Puck in front. Storjahan couldn't shoot down from the left point. Here's Anderson looking in front. 
Tried to center, that was blocked. Now it's sent right up the slot. Ends up right point, Popov with a shot, he scores! Jordan Popov with a wrist shot! That beats Connor Green! Two minutes left to go in the second. Columbus is within one, it's 3-2. Boy, you gotta feel so good for a guy like Popov who's been here all, well, most of the season, in and out of the lineup, has been working his tail off just to try to stay in shape, just in the hope of getting in a couple of games. He gets in tonight, and it pays off as he scores his first goal of the year. Congratulations to Jordan Popoff. Stored to Holly assist. And now out at center, Wolf doing what Wolf does. Trying to get the face of just about anybody. In this case, it was Ryan Hunter he was talking to, and then Kyle Moore will come over and have words with him. Moore's just pointing at center. He's like, come on. Are we going to do this? The answer is no. Then Volf goes and takes a shot at Underwood. I mean, Volf is, is a guy who all he's going to do is get under your skin, but the mitts are glued on. That's what Underwood's having the discussion with him right now. Well, here they go. They come off. How about it? Underwood said, let's do it. Underwood and Wolf. At the blue line, they tie up. Wolf is going to try to get some rights in. Underwood puts him down, gets a shot in, and well, that was over quickly. And Wolf overplayed his hand. One forty-one to go here in the second. Underwood has a lot to say to Wolf on his way to the penalty box. Boy, Underwood is tweaked. Wolf inciting the crowd. They're going to send him off to the dressing room early here. I'm telling you. It's going to be a whole lot more of that in the third. Team 19, time of the fights. I will at least credit Wolf for actually dropping the gloves with Underwood there. That's that's a size matchup. That's that's pretty even. I guess Wolf felt that he wouldn't have been able to hold his own against Moore, so he accepts the invitation from Underwood. Okay, that's something. But not a lot of satisfaction obtained in that particular tussle. River Dragons, let's see if they get momentum off it. Layton carries it in over the line. Puck pushed down low and Layton centers. Bobcats able to take it away though. Now back the other way it goes, up the left side. McHugh pushed it in over the line. Tanner is run into by Duncan. And now Moore in the pile as well. Oh, here we go. Back in behind, we get a fight going there. And it's Moore throwing the punches in there. No, pardon me, that's Shinkarik. Shinkarik is just unloading. Carter Shinkarik just throwing the bombs in there. That was a decisive victory. McHugh just got absolutely 
pounded by Shinkarik. See how the penalties are going to come out on this. Now, I will say this at the beginning, although Duncan's not going into the box. Hopefully, he's not going into the box. At first, I thought they were going to penalize him for the hit, which would not have been my favorite move ever. Because it was a good, solid hit by Brody Duncan. Oh, my goodness. McHugh, though. Oof. That was a thumping. <laughs> Shit, Carrick. Absolutely just destroyed him. So those two should get five for fighting. At 18.48. I don't think I've ever seen Shakiric that upset, that angry. Now, mind you, I don't blame him. Well, they are putting Duncan into the box. So this, and so I, that, that's what I thought. I thought they were going to penalize Duncan for that initial hit, and I will tell you this, that is a terrible call because it was a clean hit. And he had, you get a two count. I mean, the puck is released. It's one, two. You're allowed to make your hit within that two count. And Duncan was well within that. And it was a good solid shoulder check. I mean, I don't care what this penalty ends up being. It's not a good call. Duncan gets two for boarding. The hit was far enough away from the boards and it was shoulder to shoulder. Nope, not boarding. Just a good check. So. Can't agree with that one at all. But that does mean Brody Duncan is in the Abercrombie bonding penalty box and Columbus shorthanded. Well, they were shorthanded. Till Bersani got yanked down by Andreoli, who's going to go to the box for tripping. <laughs> Told you this is going to be a long game, and this is what it's turned into. So there goes the power play after just seven seconds. Might be a little bit of Revlon on that one. 18.55. Time of the penalty, so, boy, I didn't even get a chance. So really what comes out of that is the Bobcats get basically a seven second power play and then on the other side of it, the River Dragons will get a baby seven second, the loft power play. The Law features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for a two-for-one deal on cover only at The Loft. And there goes Jay Krupp down the tunnel again. Like I said, he just, something seems off. Uh, Jay went down in a collision with Tatter earlier. He has not been the same since. He's tried to come back a couple times, but I am a little concerned about him. Face off will be to the left of the Bobcats net. One back by Columbus, four on four here. And it's sent out over the line. Bockwell has to back up with it. So back the other way, River Dragons in offside. By the way, it was not Andreoli. It was Newberg that went into the box. I think I said it was Andreoli. It was not, it was Newberg. Face off just outside the Bobcats' blue line. One back in control by Columbus. Here's Blockwell on the left side. He'll fire it in on goal. Green will glove it down, and he's in no hurry to play it. Blockwell, well, now he gets hooked up with Norwinski. So it's Popoff and Bockwill. River Dragons have two defensemen out right now. Underwood and Duncan are both in the box. 
Wickline and Doe up front here. Bockwell backs pop off up. And the two goals for the River Dragons tonight coming from the defenseman. Bockwell and Popoff are the goal scorers. Bobcats able to move that puck out to center. Popoff steps up on his man. Blue Ridge trying to regroup in their own end. It's spun off the glass out to center. Wickline tried to glove it down. It's pushed on. Norwinski in over the line and now pushed back out. Ernst will cycle it on back into his own end. Blue Ridge. Just 13 seconds ago in the period, they're going to go behind the net and just kind of hang out. Run that clock down. Wickline forcing it out the left side. Not a lot of time for the Bobcats here as it's turned over at center. River Dragons stump it back in. That's it for the period. And here we go again. Daly this time drawing the ire. Now Colgan and Ford bump as they go by one another. Moore is being waved away by Ford. And now Moore is going to get talked to. I think that was Andreoli. <laughs> This is going to be quite the finish. Actually, that was Tatter and went over to talk to him. It's going to be quite the finish. It's going to be explosive coming down the stretch here. 48 seconds of four on four when we start the third period. And then a little baby five, seven seconds. Seven second off power play. And right now, Columbus. Just kind of in a weird spot there, down a couple defensemen. Underwood, five for fighting. Duncan's got that 48 seconds to serve yet. Of course, we're kind of wondering about Jay Krupp, who's been on and off the ice here a couple times in the second period. And hopefully uh, he is not hurt. Actually, well, I would say Columbus down three defensemen. They're not. Shinkarik, who's out for a fighting major, is playing forward tonight. But it's getting physical out there. Columbus really hasn't had to stand up for itself this much in a game that I can remember in the last couple of months. This is more than the River Dragons have had to do physically against any opponent in a while. And perhaps, well, maybe it's good for them. They have not had their physical limits pushed this year. So I, I don't mind this for the River Dragons. I don't necessarily want to see, number one, anybody get hurt. But number two, uh, this, is, this is an important team-building pushback response that is necessary here. Plus, they have managed to pull it within a goal. It's 3-2 at the intermission. But for Columbus right now, there's, there's still a lot of work to do. And uh, they really need to get serious about trying to find that goal again here before we get back into that third period. So, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> there's there's going to be a lot to talk about here. Don't go away. You want to stay here for third period action. But in the meantime, we do have an intermission report to get to, so we're going to do that. And it's brought to you by Shredaway. We will recap the goal scoring in that second period for you. Go inside the numbers. Plus, we'll take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. We already know one team headed to the men's college basketball Final Four. Who's the other? Alabama and UConn getting it underway here. We'll give you the update on that score and more. Stick around. There's more coming your way on River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? 
Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Shh, shh, shh. Brum, dum, dum. Get low, get low, get low. Three, six, nine. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. To the window. To the window. To the wild. To the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. And back here in the second period intermission report, Tom Callahan here with you as the River Dragons trailing the Bobcats 3-2 after two periods of play. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Don't forget, River Dragons back in action tomorrow in Mississippi against the Seawolves. 5.05 Eastern time start for the Sunday matinee. And then uh, Columbus will head home after that. And the River Dragons on the road here or on the road tomorrow, but at home here tonight on Legends Weekend. Legends played earlier here and an afternoon game that Team Starry 165 over Team Pepsi. As they're picking up the Chucka Pucks down there on the ice. And I'll tell you what, it's a great building here. A lot of energy in here tonight, and the energy has been out there on the ice all of a sudden. It was a bit of a lethargic first period. But in the second period, the two teams traded goals. 52 seconds in to period number two. Andreoli scored his eighth of the year from McHugh. And the former River Dragon put his team in front by a pair of goals at that point. But a couple of things happened late in the period. Number one, a 15-23. An apparent River Dragon's goal was waved off for a high stick at 15-23. And so that's a tough one. You know, River Dragon's protested, but at the end of the day, uh, Columbus was uh, unsuccessful, let's say, in their lobbying. But then they do come back at the 18-minute mark. Jordan Popoff, how about Pops getting his first of the year? Store Jahan the assist on that one. And that makes a 3-2 towards the end of the period, and then everything really did indeed start to boil over. Plenty of penalties down the stretch, a couple of fights as well, and uh, that's just kind of the way it has gone here this evening as the River Dragons just literally fighting back now. And this has been coming for a while. You can see it coming with this Bobcats team. Columbus wrapped up the points yesterday. They have the FPHL title. They have the Continental Division title. So those banners are secured. And uh, tonight, a little bit of rest for Justin McDonald and for Josh Petrantonio. They're actually behind the bench here tonight. And uh, Nolan Slahetka also sitting this one out. And it's turned physical in a hurry. So the River Dragons are going to have to respond here. Shots in the period, 15-6 to 6 in favor of Columbus. Power plays, River Dragons 0 for 3 in the period and the game. Bobcats 0 for 2 in the second, 0 for 3 in the game. 
but I don't think we're done with the power plays. I think it's going to be a very, very physical third period when we get around to that. So stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way. The second period intermission report is brought to you by Shredaway. And when we come back, the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin will be on the way. So that's on the other side. 3-2 Bobcats after two. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I spice? Wait. Who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> my dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85 exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. Tom Callahan here with you. 3-2 Bobcats in the lead over the River Dragons. And it's time for us to check that Selmo zip in out of town scoreboard. And a lot of scoreboard watching going on around the FPHL because several of the games still have potential playoff seating implications in the Empire Division. And so let's take a look here at what's going on between the Hat Tricks and the Black Bears. And well, Binghamton way out in front now. It's 6-1 in the third period of this game, and it's only five minutes into that third period. So Binghamton looks like they're on their way to a win here. And the Carolina Thunderbirds, 4-2, leading the Mississippi Seawolves. That one is late in the third period at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. At Watertown Arena, it's 2-2 after two between the River Sharks and the Wolves. Prowlers with a 3-0 lead over the Baton Rouge Zydeco. That one is late in the second period. In the NHL, finals from earlier, Penguins 5-4 over the Lightning, Bruins down the Panthers in overtime 3-2, Blackhawks 3-2 over the Stars, Jets 4-2 over the Wild. In overtime, Sharks come back, beat the Blues 3-2. Blue Jackets about to polish off the Flyers 6-1. Boy, Philadelphia's in a tailspin and in danger of spinning right on out of a postseason berth. That's got about five minutes left to go in the third period there. Leafs up 4-2 on the Canadians. Devils 4-2 on the Senators. And the Islanders up 1-0 over the Preds. Those are all in the third period. 10 o'clock puck drops tonight for the Oilers at the Flames and the Canucks at the Kings. Major League Baseball out of town scoreboard. Yankees 9-2 over the Jays, bottom of the sixth. Top ninth, Mariners 4-3 over the Brewers. Bottom of the seventh, Rangers 3-2 over the Astros. Middle of the seventh, Diamondbacks 8-5 over the Braves. Top of the fifth, 
Rockies 4-1 over the Rays. Top of the second. Padres 4-0 over the Giants. Red Sox and Angels going to get underway in about 15 minutes. Finals from earlier. Athletics 4-0 over the Tigers today. Guardians 3, Twins 1. Cardinals 3-1 over the Marlins. Dodgers 4-1 over the Cubs. In 11, the Pirates beat the Orioles 5-4. Phillies 5-2 over the Nationals. Reds 9-6 over the Mets. And the Royals blank the White Sox 3-0. Men's college hoops. Well, we know one team has punched their ticket to the final, and it's number one Purdue. 63-50 winners over number 11 NC State earlier today. And so now Purdue awaits the winner of number four, Alabama, and number one, UConn, with seven and a half minutes to go in the first half of that game. They're tied, 28 apiece. How about Alabama really giving UConn a run right now? I know there were some pundits out there in the sports world who were saying that they thought Alabama was just going to be roadkill for UConn in that game. But I'll tell you what, the Crimson Tide are hanging tough right now. And... Uh, if I'm the Huskies, I don't know. You just you cannot look past any opponent in any tournament. Will it be one against one? Who knows? But Purdue has punched its ticket. Now Alabama is trying desperately to down UConn and find their way into the men's college basketball final, which I believe will be coming up on Monday night. Yes, indeed, it's Monday night. 9.20 Eastern time tip at State Farm Stadium out in Glendale, Arizona. Here it's a 3-2 Bobcats lead over the Columbus River Dragons. 48 seconds of four on four. That'll start period number three, and then the River Dragons a seven-second power play. And the third period promises to be exciting, but it promises also to be physical, and uh, there's certainly some scores to be settled here. These two teams, the dislike continues to grow. And uh, they're both playing the game hard, both going back after one another. And, well, I don't think we're out of the woods yet, that's for sure. River Dragons Hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting. They specialize in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at BKIAccounting.com. And keep in mind now that the River Dragons have indeed clinched a postseason berth, you can pick up your playoff Seven game packages right now with or without a credit rider through the River Dragons office. If you're at the game tonight, happen to be tuning us in, find a River Dragons ticket representative and they can explain your options to you, walk you through it, and guarantee you the same great seats all the way through the River Dragons quest for the Commissioner's Cup. 3-2 Bobcats in the lead after two. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, third period action on the other side. This has been the Shredaway second period intermission report. And this is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich. A golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee. And a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bun. You're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. 
Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Here for third period action at the Columbus Civic Center. Tom Callahan here with you. River Dragons returning to the ice. And Martin and Brody Duncan skated right next to one another at the stripe at center. <laughs> Exchanged a little bit of a glare. That almost had slap shot type uh, overtones to it. Duncan's got to go into the box along with Kirk Underwood. 48 seconds until Duncan is out and then a seven second power play for the River Dragons to start period number three. Shinkerik is also in the box waiting for the expiration of his five and a fighting major. That came in 1848. So he's going to have to wait almost four minutes into the period and a whistle to come back. The main question is where does this game go in the third? We know it's going to be physical. We know there's probably a few more fights ahead. Wolf is talking to the referee right now. Trying to figure out maybe when he's due out of the box. Although for the amount of head shaking coming from the referee, I don't know if that's it. <laughs> Just an awful lot of Dynamics playing out in this one. Columbus is going to start Storjahan Wick line up front. Leighton and Bockwell on the points. Storjahan wins the draw back. Bockwell with it. And he'll attack up the right side. Here comes Nathan Bockwell moving it in. Stops in the corner. Feeds it off the side of the net. Right up the slot. That's taken away. Back by Blue Ridge. They're going to regroup. By the way, they uh, did change that first goal. Bockwell now from Storjahan and Jamaev. Centering attempt by Blue Ridge. Goes out and down the ice. Bohan back after it. Blue Ridge will bring it in. Vlasov on the right side. His shot finds the glass. Around to the near shot. A bouncing puck in the slot. Vlasov on it again. Blocked. How about one more time? Cycles it towards the point. Columbus now in a seven second power play. Layton up the left wing. Columbus just able to break out of the zone. And now we get a five on five as the puck hooked across. And Columbus is in offside as it's touched up there by Duncan. But at least the River Dragons will get to reform the lines a little bit here. Jamea foul with Doe and Bersani. Popoff and Anderson. 
Blue Ridge trying to move the puck ahead. It's a dumped in. Cole going to leave it at the side of the net. Has to fling it away as he saw the forecheck pressure coming. Puck ends up at the right point. But it's turned over to Austin Doe. Doe ahead on the right wing. Into space, Jamaev. Jamaev looking back door for Doe, but he couldn't get the puck to him. It went harmlessly away to the far corner. Doe after it again, though. Near side, a shot. Green the save of the left post. Nice little chip in front there from Jamaev, and Doe got a quick shot away. Green had to make a save on the left side. That's the other thing I will say after that first period, which was definitely not the best River Dragons first period. And they've really swung things back the other way. Draw coming up here on the near side of the ice. Eventually, there it is, finally down. And a bouncer to the right point. Popoff holds it in on the backhand. Doe off his skate. It ends up on the right side. Bersani trying to battle to keep it in, and now it's off a shin pad and out. Popoff after it, turning it right back the other way. Ford sends it across. Martin trying to catch up with it. Martin into the right wing of the River Dragons end. Trying to cycle it up the wall. Run into by Anderson. Centering feed ends up at the left point. Ford will feed it back down the boards. Played around into the slot. Andrioli turn around, shot missed. Doe on the far side. And they'll flip one out. Bersani at center trying to tap it on to Jamaev, but put it behind him. So Bersani will go get it himself. Move it in while his mates change. Ford behind the net. Bersani on him. Forcing the reverse. Swan in behind the net, chasing it now. Mohan up the right side. And Ford, oh boy, Ford just got drilled by Bersani. And the puck went out of play, and now it's going to bring another pile. And I can't tell who that is, but somebody's being grabbed from the bench. The Blue Ridge Bobcats were reaching over and grabbing one of the River Dragons players on the ice. That was Popoff who was getting grabbed. And actually, that wasn't Bersani that was more. I thought it was Bersani that threw the hit, but apparently it was Kyle Moore. Stephen Ford is still down on the ice over there on the far side. Trainer's coming over to look at him now. Moore's just awaiting his fate. Standing at the lip of the penalty box. You could tell from Moore's reaction that he thought Ford overreacted, but Ford is still down on the ice, so I'm not really sure. Well, he's up on all fours now. I'm also a big believer in the the penalty is the penalty, whatever it is, regardless of injury, no injury. You know, if it was two minutes, but the guy stays down for however long, that doesn't increase the time. It's whatever you think the penalty is and now Ford's back up on his skates and he'll make it to the bench under his own power I think more than anything he was a little shaken up but he'll be sore in the morning I'll tell you that much so let's see here what ends up on the board 227 into the third period Kyle Moore in the box And now Kyle Moore out of the box. Bersani into the box. I thought that was Bersani. Oh, no. Kyle Moore into the box along with Bersani. Did Kyle Moore pick up a penalty somewhere in there? Huh. Well, while they're figuring it out down there, there's not a lot of room at the end in that River Dragons uh, penalty box right now. It's a good thing Duncan got out of there. Otherwise, there'd be some lap sitting going on. So Bersani is in there. Moore is in there.
For me, the question is, I don't think anyone from Blue Ridge went in. Jay Krupp is still lobbying at the circle, but clearly unhappy skating away. Could the River Dragons end up down here five on three for two minutes? Certainly in the realm of possibility right now. And Jake Krupp back over to the referee's crease once again to double check something. So Kyle Moore has two minutes up under his name. Bersani is in there as well. At 227. So, and now we do have a Blue Ridge Bobcats player going in. That's Frazee. And I imagine that might have something. Well, actually, I'm not going to imagine anything. I'll find out what the call is. So if Prashani gets two for boarding, and then Moore gets two for something, Frazee gets two for something. So Moore gets two for roughing, Bersani two for boarding, and uh, delay of game, which according to this, it was issued against Ford, but he's not the guy in the box. They put Frazee in the box, but anyway. So what happens here is the Bobcats get a power play out of the deal. It's their fourth of the night. They're 0 for 3 with a man advantage. And that Abercrombie bonding penalty box is getting absolutely packed. Somebody please spring these boys out of the box. Four on uh, five on four, power play here with a draw to the left of Colgan. Bobcats going to work. Puck ends up at the right point. And the Bobcats will set up and a pass up top. That one a little too hot to handle there. Bohan's got to go back to his own line after it. Martin will play it back. Bohan ahead. Lassov in on the right wing. Lassov around the near side, the left half wall. Daly down low. Bounces off a check from Duncan. Wrapped out the far side. Bobcats put it up top. Bohan to the left point. And now it's jammed around the glass. A bouncer to the line, not out. Lassov keeping it into the slot. Now it's cleared. Columbus is going to get a change of the penalty killers. Well, that is a short bench over there. Nice job stepping up here. Wickline forcing the play back in. He's out there with Storjahan. Pop off and Bockwell. 49 seconds to go on the man advantage for Blue Ridge. Left side, here's Martin. Into the zone, tried to center. Across the crease it goes. Bockwell off the glass, down the ice. We're approaching four minutes into this third period. Bobcats three, River Dragons two. This is the final game of the regular season series between these two teams. To this point, Columbus is 8-0 and against the Bobcats. But Blue Ridge would love to put one in the win column before the expiration of the regular season. Centering attempt, that one is punched away. And it's knocked down the ice right side. Now Columbus, shorthanded chance, still. On the wing, pushed into the corner, and now Jamaev is knocked down, going to the net. Penalty coming up against Blue Ridge, and Jamaev is a little slow to get up. The parade to the box continues. Interference is the call. Sazanovitz, the guilty party. (laughs) 
419 time of the penalty. So the River Dragons will get in the loft power play out of this on the other side of this nine seconds of four on four. They're 0 for 3. The Law features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for 2 for 1 cover, only at the Loft. And so a 4 on 4 chance here. And now Volf ripped down to the ice, and now Columbus pushing ahead there on the power play with Moore out of the box. Up top, here's Krupp in the slot, gets it over to Moore. Moore has to chase it to the left point. Moore, Underwood. Underwood, near dot, Doe walks in, Underwood up top off his skate to Moore, back door, Doe walks it in, as traffic in front, fed it into the traffic, and a right pad save, Green, he holds on. Four fifty-seven gone here in the third, Bobcats three, River Dragons two, 123 to go, and the power play for Columbus. Well, the penalty box is at least finally emptying itself out of the combatants from the last period. Krupp wants to face off on the far side of the ice, but it's going to be on the near side. Moore, Stor, Jahan, Krupp, Doe, Underwood. Draws one back into the corner, and Bohan on the far side. Krupp steals the puck away, though, gets it up top to Underwood. Underwood at the line is pushed, and the puck goes out, and now a breakaway the other way. Moving in, a chance, and really off the glove and out of play as Colgan with a big shorthanded stop. 5-11, gone here in the third. 3-2 Bobcats, back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected, all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. All right, 5-11 into the third after a big save by Brendan Colgan on former River Dragon Carson Andrioli. Shorthanded attempt. The face off will be to the left of the Columbus net. Bobcats have that 3-2 lead, but River Dragons have one minute, eight seconds of power play time here. And the puck pushed onto the wall, Jamea. Trying to put it back in around behind the net. Columbus will try up the right side. Out to center. Here's Wickline moving it on to the left wing. Jamaev moving in. Stops in the half wall. Feeds it up to the left point. Shot coming in through a screen. A glove save. Green with Wickline cutting right in front of him. Jamaev threw a pretty good reverse check on the far side there. After he put the puck up the wall, Andrioli tried to run into him, and he just dropped him on that far side. But Columbus now... With Jamaev, Hunter, Shinkarik, Bockwill out there along with Wickline on that left side. Power play units keep shifting for the River Dragons. Jamaev wins the draw over towards the wall. It deflects back to the corner now. Clearing attempt went right off Jamaev. Right in on goal, and Green had to make a right pad save on his own man. Wickline ends up with it. Left half boards, Cody Wickline looking in front. Still with it, leaves it in the left side corner, fed up top. Bockwell getting it over to the far side. Now down low, Wickline in front for Jamea. If he couldn't get a shot away, stick tied up. Hunter puts it up top, Bockwell back to the right side. Hunter, Hunter 
Into the corner, Jamaev to Hunter, top of the near circle, over to the far side, Bockwell, wrist shot, tipped in front of the glass, rebound, jammed towards the front of the net, cleared to the line, off Bockwell and out. Now the other way, here's Frazee up the boards on the right side, Bockwell's got the angle on him, took it away. And now Jamaev swings it across, Shinkarik kicks it up, in over the line, power play expires, but Shinkarik in, leaves in the slot, it's pushed away to the corner. 3-2, Bobcats in the lead. Six and a half into the third. River Dragons controlling here. Hunter, quick shot on goal and a save. Green rebound to the corner. Wick line slaps at it and it's cleared out of play. The deflection will keep the face off inside the Bobcats end. Bersani out there now, along with Krupp and Doe. Looks like Bersani's going to try to go ahead with this draw. He did. Now he taps it back towards Krupp, who leaves it to the right point to Layton. Layton with a shot, and Doe tried to deflect it and kind of blocked it instead. Doe to the left wing corner after the puck. Bersani over to help him out. Bersani trying to kick it free to Doe in the left side corner. Doe. Up to the left point, swung over to the right side on the line, kept in by Layton. His shot found shin pads and caroms out. Layton will leave it off. Hard bank pass ahead on the right wing side, brought in over the line, onside by Columbus. Bersani took the hit, got the puck into the corner. Krupp tying up his man, but lost the puck. Cleared out by the Bobcats, down the ice it goes. Duncan chasing it. And that one. No icing as Duncan gets back. Seven and a half into the third. River Dragons tipping on into the left wing side. Here's Shinkarik on his horse into the corner. Ties up with Ivanov. Puck loose behind the net. Andrioli over there. Slid around the near side boards. Pop off down for the right point. Keeps it in. Now behind the net. Shinkarik out the far side. He'll feed it up to the point. Columbus up top with it. They'll flip it back into available space. More on the left wing. Centering feed. Green save. And he's able to cover. Boy, Moore almost caught Green leaning away from the post, but he stayed there to make the stop. Hang on to the puck. 3-2 Bobcats. Not quite eight minutes into this third period. Brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. Don't forget the River Dragons back at it again tomorrow in Mississippi. 5.05 Eastern, 4.05 Central time start. Face off to the right of the Bobcats net. And don't forget the playoff single game seats. As the draw one back out through center. We'll go on sale April 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern. It's puck deflected in, green holds. Seven game playoff packs are on sale right now. Guarantee yourself the same great seat right through the Commissioner's Cup playoffs. Those seven game packages available with or without a credit rider. And that rider could carry over to your next year's season seats. Contact a River Dragons ticket representative today to find out what works best for you. 706-507-4625. That's 507-4625. Of course, there's more information online on the River Dragons website, rdragons.com. That's rdragons.com. Shinkarik tried to push the play ahead off the faceoff, got knocked down. Puck cleared away to center. And now up the right side, here's Frazee with speed to the outside, cutting in on Anderson, who lost his stick in the process, but made the play. Forced Frazee wide. Now Navashkin trying to shove it in, paddle down. Colgan the save right on the doorstep. And he holds on for the whistle. And, of course, now there's going to be the prerequisite pushing and shoving. And we're going to come out with another penalty. Columbus is going to be shorthanded again. It's Ryan Hunter going to the box. Roughing the call. 8.27, time of the penalty.
Bobcats to their fifth power play of the night. For the roll for four. Hunter into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. And I'll tell you what, the seats in there are warm. It's Colgan readjusting his gear here. Want, wants to make sure that glove is on there as tight as he needs it to be. Face off coming up to his left. Draw one back into the corner. Columbus on it. They'll try to start off here with a clear. Bouncer to the left point. Did that get out? No. Kept in. And now second attempt. That does get over the line. Storch Hahn is out there up on the four check here. He's out there with Sequoia Swan. Martin will bring it ahead. In for the Bobcats. Underwood out there with Bockwell as well. Puck to the right point. Near side. Tattern. Back up top, Bohan over to the far side, now to the slot, looking for Vlasov, punched away to the wall. Storjahan trying to spin it out, can't. But now a chance maybe to clear for Columbus around the near side, and they do get it down the ice. Storjahan having words with Vlasov on his way by. Everybody heading into the bench. 9.25 into this third period, 3-2 Bobcats. One minute to go in the Blue Ridge power play. Bohan sends it in from center. Colgan out to play it. Fed back up the far side, past Jamaif even, and down the ice it goes. So once again, Norwinski back. He'll come out the right side with it. Look ahead, Ivashkin, his pass on to the right wing. Andrioli cutting in. And he's tied up, lost the puck in the corner. Now here's Layton on the near side. Layton with a little backhand ahead. And now oh, would have been a possible shorthanded chance, but I don't think Jamaif saw Wickline on the left side. They'll take the clear instead. 22 seconds ago on the man advantage. And then Ryan Hunter back out of the box. Here's Wolf up through center. And on the right side, he'll leave it to the right point. Backdoor feed there, Andrioli had to pick it out of his skates. Feeds it up to the left point. For Norwinski shot, blocked by traffic. Popoff can't clear, a shot by Andrioli is held by Colgan. Just as Hunter out of the box. 9.31 to go in the third. We're back with more in just a moment. Bobcats three, Columbus two. This is River Dragons hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Football time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. 9.31 to go in the third period. Tom Callahan here with you. Bobcats three, River Dragons two. Fates off coming up to the right of the River Dragons netminder, Brennan Colgan. And a couple of big time stops in this game. Bobcats only 16 shots, but been some great A's in there. Columbus got through that last penalty kill. They're five for five now as that puck skipped out of play off the glass. And drop it back on the dot once again. Well, we've got a moment. Let's take a break. Ten seconds along the network for station identification. 
You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Well, right off the face off, River Dragons toss it out of play again. <laughs> so we'll try one more time to the right of Colgan. Tattern in across from Hunter Bersani. Face off tied up, one back again by Bersani. This time the puck cleared to the line, but not out. Ernst with a shot that hit Tatterin in front. Pop off to the far side on it. Try to play it up the boards. Still not out. Now it is. As it's dumped back in a bouncer that Colgan handles the side there for Anderson. Bobcats tag up. River Dragons bank it out to center, but the pass eludes Krupp. And now back the other way, Vlasov chasing. They say he tipped it, no icing. Left side corner, Vlasov knocked down by Anderson. That allows Bersani up and onto the right wing to Krupp. Jay Krupp moving ahead, dumps it into the right wing corner. Krupp to Doe, Doe centers, and it was taken away in front by the Bobcats. They race the other way, and now that puck tapped away. Nice play by Underwood. Bohan following it up. He'll try to walk in himself. Ooh, the train was on the tracks. Bockwill was coming at him, and he just got out of the way. River Dragons able to clear it out. Here's Underwood up the left side. Walks in with Shinkarik. Underwood on the wing. Off angle chance blocked. And now Swan puts a shoulder in his man, but the puck still cleared out to center. Rolled out. River Dragons will leave it off. And once again... In the defensive end, Bockwell will go all the way behind his own net, under eight to go here in the third. That's an icing call. I don't know what Moore was doing. It looked like he was pointing at the clock or he was waving at someone across the ice, and now he's talking to Swan and miscommunication there. Moore was not at all ready for the pass on the breakout, and that was just kind of... I think maybe the River Dragons thought they were going to reset. Whatever it was. They've got a face off to the left of Colgan now. That was just kind of an oddball play. Draw one back up top by Blue Ridge. Left point Ernst will just dump it back into the corner. Bach will right back up the near wall. And now Columbus able to break the zone. Moving it ahead. They bring it in on the left side. A shot towards the net is blocked. Ford getting in the way. Right corner, here's Moore right back through the goal mouth out to the left point. It's held in around behind the net, Shinkarik. Swan into the left side, throws a hit over there, but the puck free up the wall. Ford able to move it out off the stick of Frazee, but carried right back in, dumped around the wall by Columbus. Ivanov has Swan coming after him, leaves it up on the far side. Shinkarik tried to keep it in. It is kept in off the melon of Shinkarik. It ends up in the near side. He's all right, by the way. Swan right side corner, trying to get after it. And the Bobcats, a little trouble getting out of the zone right now. They flip it ahead. Here's Frazee on the right side, but Leighton back on it. Knocked the puck away. Bobcats change, but here's a stretch on the right side to Moore. Moore in behind the net. Rub shoulders with Bohan. Chimaev over there. Bulls his way free. Feeds it up to the point now over to the right side. Here's Brody Duncan backing up. Tried a shot that was blocked. And it's cleared out by Blue Ridge. Duncan cutting to his left, sends it right back in. Jamaf tags up, now onto the right side. Here's Storjahan up after it. Storjahan into the corner. Tanner and one arms it behind the net. Bohan around to the far side, backhand up the wall. And the puck is cleared out to center by Blue Ridge. 6.20 to go in the third. 3 2 Bobcats. Back the other way now. Here's Cody Wickline. Wickline up by himself at the line. Lost it in traffic. Cleared down, that's icing coming up against Blue Ridge. River Dragons, time ticking down on them. Gonna throw this one out there. This team has not lost at home in regulation all year. They're 25-0-1 at the Columbus Civic Center. 6.05 to go in the third period. They're the last undefeated team at home in the league this season. 
Here's Bersani in for the faceoff. They'll win it back to Krupp. Krupp with traffic, tried to throw it through. It was blocked by Martin. Back the other way, Blue Ridge. They'll dump it in, Colgan will sweep it aside. On the left wing, Wolf tied up by Popoff. Puck squirts free up the glass out to center. And now Blue Ridge will toss it right back in. And actually out of play. I believe they call it icing to begin with. But well, they're putting the face off outside the Blue Ridge blue line. River Dragons thought it was icing. And they're insisting it's in front of the Blue Ridge bench outside the zone. And Josh Petrantonio wants to know why. Face off is one over to the near side. Blue Ridge will control. And they'll dump it down. Bach will after the puck. Up the glass. Krupp. Got it over the line. Lost it there. Turned back. Here's Martin on the wing. Feeding it across. Underwood turned it away out of safety there. And now Krupp backhands it ahead on the right side. Bersani ahead. Bersani in. Flings it to the far side. Glass goes to get it. Bersani looking. Feeds into the corner. He absorbs the bump on the far side. Ian Bohan collide. Now back up the left wing, Daly. Cuts away from Bersani, lost the puck. Lost his edge as well. Ends up back with Underwood at the blue line. Underwood will fling it in and into the netting. That'll get us to our final break of the period with 4.49 to go in the third. Bobcats up 3-2 on the River Dragons. We'll take a break and come back with the finish to this Kinetic Credit Union third period in just a moment on Columbus River Dragons hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories. Five on five hockey. Bobcats three, River Dragons two here at the Columbus Civic Center. Face off will be right on that dot at center, Shinkarik. Out there looking to win this one back. It is kicked back by Columbus. They'll try to move it up on the far side. Moore trying to move it on quickly, but it ends up back with the D. Now here's Ryan Hunter in on the right side. Hunter will feed it up to the left point. There's a shot by Duncan, a diving block, and it pinballs all the way out and down the ice. Ivashkin hit the deck there. It went off his skate and a long way down the ice, and he is favoring that left leg as he gets off. Now here's a lead ahead, and Hunter moving in on the wing with a shot. Oh, tipped over top of the net. Puck around to the left point, not out. Kept in. Duncan, and he has just wrestled down in the corner. No call there. Ooh, Colgan comes way out to play it out. And back the other way. Boy, Duncan is hurt going off the ice, too, by that collision. And he even got hit on the way by to the bench. I mean, 
Duncan was literally wrestled down to the ice. Like, that was a football tackle. Oh, 357 to go on the third. 3 2 Bobcats. Pop off steps out there now in favor of. Brody Duncan, more in for the faceoff. Pushed over to the near side boards. Wolf sends it behind the net. Pop off, feeds it on to the far side. Wolf over there after it. Pop off, runs into him. Hunter trying to pull it out of there. Pop off battling in that pile as well. It's sent behind the Columbus net. Now here's Shinkarik spinning away onto the left side. Layton. Back ahead, looking for Shinkara, coughed it up in a high slot shot coming in. Left pad save there as it's kicked away by Colgan. Again, the puck behind the net, and Shinkara slowing it down here. 322 to go in the third. Up the right side, Kyle Moore now will start to look and see if Colgan does come out of the net probably in the next minute and a half. Wolf steals it back on the left side. He'll just rag that puck into the corner. This is the soccer equivalent of taking it to the corner flag. Just try to wind as much time off of the clock as you can. Moore, cross ice. Pass ahead, Storja Hunnell dump it in. Jamaif into the right wing corner after it. 2.52 to go in the third. River Dragons need a goal to tie it up. Into the right wing corner. Here's Wickline. Wickline. Leaves it off on the wall, and now spinning his way down is Anderson. Anderson trying to battle his way free, sending it behind the cage. Wick line out the near side, puck to the dot, not out. Kept in Jemayev. Jemayev tried to feed it around, does, gets it to the far side. to Look up top, and the pass a little too hot to handle, comes out to center. Duncan disgusted with himself for not keeping it in, but boy, that was one hot potato. Ivanov on the right side, had it stolen away, puck in front, and that is cleared out. 2.10 to go in the third. Wick line moving it back in. Storjahan on the wing to the backhand. And a right pad save green. Bersani over there feeding into the left point. Down low by Anderson. Shot cut off in front. Under two minutes to go. And now we'll begin to keep that eye on Colgan. Columbus has to get out of its own zone first. They do bounce the puck to center. As Colgan creeps but not leaving. Swan will dump it in behind the net. Around to the right point it goes. Kept in there, Underwood a shot. Tipped by Doe just wide. Minute and a half to go now. And Blue Ridge comes up with the puck. They'll go the other way with it. Dumped in by Frazee. Colgan out to play it behind the net. And fling it around the far side. Dill, and we might imagine Colgan will leave with the rush. Fired in from center into the netting, just as Colgan does leave. But that'll put the face off outside, so he will probably return. See if Columbus elects to use its timeout here or not. 1.14 to go in the third. Bobcats three, River Dragons two. Oh, they're going to put the puck on the dot at center for this faceoff. Faceoff controlled by the River Dragons. They try to move it ahead. It hit the linesman. Second attempt, and now it's turned over to the Bobcats. Right side, Vlasov in with a shot, deflected wide. One minute to go in regulation. Colgan's got to leave. Up the left side, here's Ryan Hunter with his shot. In behind the net. Goal is empty in the Columbus end. Now for the right point, Underwood will keep it alive. In behind the goal. Back up the near side, extra man is Bersani. Bersani with the puck underneath, a Blue Ridge player. Trying to dig it out of there. It's still tied up, finally up top to Underwood. Underwood has traffic in front, lets it go, shot, and that hit green on the way through. 
Fed back up top, Underwood on it. Underwood moving over. Hunter, Hunter, his wrist shot. That is tipped into the near corner, 23 seconds ago. Up top, Ryan Hunter again walks around the block, still with it. And that block is effective and knocks the puck out of the zone. Wolf sold out to block the puck. 10 seconds, shot at the empty net, doesn't go. Heavy hit on the near side. Bockwell on Wolf. River Dragons moving it ahead. Here's Shinkarik in with a shot. Green the save at the horn, and the game's over. And the Bobcats come out with a victory here in the final game of the regular season series between these two teams for the first time. And the River Dragons, for the first time all season, drop a game in regulation at home. 3-2 Bobcats. They win it here tonight into the Pepsi Post Game Show. We go back with the three stars in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Rum dum dum. Get low. Get low. Get low. Three six nine. Ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. and Scorch. And so tonight's three stars. Your third star with a couple of assists tonight for the Columbus River Dragons. Number four, Alex Storjahan. Your second star for the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Number 28, Daniel Martin. And your first star, number 93, the former River Dragon himself, Carson Andrioli. One goal, one assist, and four shots on goal to lead his team to the victory here tonight. Those are your three stars. We'll take a break. Come back with more in just a moment. Stay tuned. Plenty more coming your way in the Pepsi Post Game Show. Scoring wrap of the out of town scoreboard. All up next. This is River Dragons Hockey. Dragon. Six nine, ooh she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wild, to the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild.
Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Matter of fact, 647, Joel Frazee, his ninth from Martin to kick off the scoring here. And then right after that, Daniel Martin would become the goal scorer at 9.08, his 15th of the season from Andreoli and Daly. And that makes it 2 nothing at that point. Bobcats in the lead. But before the end of the frame at 17.53, Nathan Bockwell second from Jamaif and Storjahan would get the River Dragons back within a goal after 1-2-1 one. One was your score. Early in the second period, just 52 seconds in, Carson Andreoli, the game-winning goal, is eighth of the season. And he gets the assist from McHugh. Andreoli beating his former teammate, Brennan Colgan, who finishes tonight's game, taking the loss with 16 saves on 19 shots. And at that point, it's a 3-1 game. Now, at 15-23 of the second period, the River Dragons had an apparent goal disallowed. It was called back for a high stick. Alexander Jamaif had thought he had scored, but goal is waved off. And so the River Dragons then do manage to get back within a goal at the 18-minute mark. Jordan Popoff, his first of the year from Alex Storjahan, and the River Dragons put the game at 3-2 heading into the third period, but that was it. That was all the scoring. No scoring in the third period, and Columbus unable to find a way to tie this one up late, and they dropped for the first time all year a game at home in regulation. And, uh, boy, it uh, came almost to the end of the schedule, but it's the first time all season Columbus has been beaten in regulation at home. Unbelievable. 25-1-1 one one here this year at the Columbus Civic Center. Power plays. River Dragons finish 0 for 4. The Bobcats 0 for 5. Shots on goal by period. Columbus 6 in the first, 15 in the second, 8 in the third for 29. And the Blue Ridge Bobcats 8, 6, and 5 for 19. We'll take a break. Come back. Our final segment of the Pepsi Post Game Show is a look back at that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change, apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Three, And as we wrap things up here, the River Dragons down tonight by the Blue Ridge Bobcats 3-2. 
First time all year the River Dragons have lost at home in regulation, but 25-1-1 one one with one more home game coming up, and it is going to be April 13th. Fan Appreciation Night. It's our final family four-pack night of the year. Get your four-packs this coming week only through the River Dragons office. Listen to this. Just $40 gets you four tickets to the game, then four hot dogs and four popcorn and four Pepsi products and four Chick-fil-A coupons, all for just $40, an unbelievable deal through the River Dragons office, and it's ready for the final home game of the year. Give us a call, 507-4625. That's 706-507-4625, or stop by during regular business hours. Final look back at the Selmo Zip in out of town scoreboard, and tonight the Binghamton Black Bears 7-1 winners over the Danbury Hattricks. That might tamp out any hope Dan Barry had, not officially, but unofficially, of trying to catch Motor City and put themselves in front of them for home ice in that upcoming playoff series with the Rockers. Meanwhile, Carolina 6-2 over the Mississippi Seawolves tonight. That's where the River Dragons will be tomorrow, is in Mississippi for that 505 Eastern time puck drop. At Watertown Arena, the Wolves, 4-3 winners over the Elmira River Sharks. They keep their playoff hopes alive in a critical head-to-head matchup with Elmira. That one's going to come down to the wire. One of those two teams, Watertown and Elmira, is going to be the final team into the playoffs. The other one, well, early summer. And at the Raising Canes River Center, this one's gone final as well. Port here on 4-2 winners over the Baton Rouge Zydeco tonight. NHL out-of-town scoreboard finals from earlier tonight. Penguins 5-4 over the Lightning. In overtime, Bruins 3-2 top the Panthers. Blackhawks 3-2 over the Stars. Jets 4-2 over the Wild. In overtime, the Sharks 3-2 over the Blues. Blue Jackets polish off the Flyers 6-2. Leafs 4-2 over the Canadians. Devils 4-3 hold off the Senators. Islanders shut out the Predators 2-0. And game's underway right now in the first period. The Oilers and Flames are scoreless. Kings already out to a 2-0 lead over the Canucks. Adrian Kempe and Drew Doughty, the goal scorers in that one. Major League Baseball in the top of the ninth inning. The Toronto Blue Jays are trying to rally. Two men on, one out, and they've got a couple of runs across here. It's 9-6, Yankees leading that one. Bottom of the seventh inning. The Rockies up 6-3 on the Tampa Bay Rays. End of the sixth, Padres 4-0 over the Giants. Bottom of the third, Red Sox 1-0 over the Angels. Everything else is a final from today. Athletics 4-0 over the Tigers. Guardians 3, Twins 1. St. Louis 3-1 over the Marlins. Dodgers 4-1 over the Cubs. Took 11 innings for the Pirates to beat the Orioles 5-4. Phillies 5-2 over the Nationals. Reds 9-6 top the Mets today. Rangers beat the Astros 7-2. Royals blank the White Sox 3-0. Mariners 5-3 over the Brewers. And the Braves come back to beat the Diamondbacks 9-8. Finally, in men's college hoops, number one Purdue moves on as they beat number 11 NC State. They will be in the championship game. 63-50 the Boilermakers win. They're awaiting the winner of Alabama and UConn. That's going on right now. UConn, with about 10 and a half minutes to go in the second half, has a 64-56 lead over Alabama. That'll do it for us here for tonight. Tomorrow we're back at you again, 4.30 Eastern time on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, 5.05 Eastern on the puck drop as the River Dragons travel to Mississippi to take on the Seawolves. Thanks to everybody for tuning us in here as uh, Legends Weekend comes to a close at the Columbus Civic Center. I want to thank my intrepid producer, Drew Pierce, Zylik Lane handling the graphical duties here tonight, and uh, Jonathan Jones, Emily Green on the cameras here this evening. And we thank you for being a part of River Dragons Hockey. One more time, your final score, the River Dragons. Drop this one to the Blue Ridge Bobcats. 3-2 your final. This is Tom Callahan saying good night. Saying good night. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelbo Zip-In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Triviolis, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, 
First Franklin Financial, an old school barber shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.